ba -up, ba -up, ba -up, ba -up, bum bum. I feel real bad about what happened yesterday. It was pretty shit. If I got my way, I would do it again. Maybe sanity hand. Ugh. Well, you know what they say. The lyrics are the easy part. We're gonna give it like a little bit of time. I gotta a warm up. We're gonna, I gonna, I gonna sh just, just, just stretch those limbs a bit. Get those ligaments in shape. I did not sleep good. Don't worry, my Duolingo got sick. But I didn't sleep good. And as a result, poor, poor innocent baby me. Got like five, five hours of sleep, which is way less than I'm used to. Oh, look at this! Would you look at this? It's a, it's a comment I I was going to look at. I forgot. I'm saying hello to people. Don't worry, taking care of stuff while we're waiting. It's our, it's it's scary, Dave. Welcome back. Just double check, make sure everything's in the chat. You can see my little test message, making sure the chat works this time. You will license for that slur. I need to watch that and make sure that it works. Okay. I deemed this morning, so I'm still a little, a little bad in the throat department. I'm also cooled down, and I think that I really don't like that first part. Holy cannoli, did I stop a lot, start stop, and doesn't help anything. Doesn't make things better. <sighs> Going for a rift tracks is cute, but if you want a rift tracks. Actually, Caveman on went through it at a pretty brisk pace, if I recall correctly. Uh, we're gonna wait for a little bit so that everyone can flow. Everyone knew this was coming. I, I told them when to come. I wave my hand around the empty room. The fact that nobody's here shows how little respect they got for me. It doesn't work like that. You just get to walk into a man's life and say, eh, if I convenience. I'm half tempted to just watch my own <laughs> video and see what he's what he's talking about with the license. Timestamps are important. I try to include them in my comments when I can, or remember to. Well, while I'm here, I might as well read that one guy's review. That again, from again. Are you on something? Something Nintendo, right? I managed to defeat the slavers in Pathfinder Kinkmaker. Well, you know what they say. A new sentence every day. Kinkmaker. It's a great way to spell it. Although I have been thinking about like doing a Dungeons & Dragons game where, where I'll something in that direction. Gosh, Isekai game. Player characters pick monsters instead of normal characters. <laughs> and it's all about them setting right the angel. I mean, to be fair, I just wanted to do that because I wanted to do something before it evolved. And I, I've actually been thinking about, surprisingly, I Iron Claw for that one. Have the players start off as un unwantedness. I mean, to be fair, isn't that a Blades in the Dark kind of game? Starting off with a bunch of common crooks. Trying to set the wrongs of society right. Well, it seems the people are leaving instead of showing up. Or the dashboard's just kind of fucked up. But that's fine. My throat being messed up and me being a bit tired does mean that I might be able to actually do this in the a mature and responsible way. And, 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 and straighten out my jacket and make it work. And then I'm also going to just make some lip-smacking sounds, as is befitting of a stream environment. Also, a thing I learned, I didn't, I didn't notice at the time. I do breathe a lot. I can hear it. And I hate it. I, I, I get so angry when I look. I, I, I scheduled all the, the parts yesterday, to just today, actually. And man, that I get pissed off at my own breathing. <laughs> One thing I remember is that like a lot of professional voice actors, they'll actually turn away from the mic, whatever they breathe in or out, to limit the amount that in interferes with the audio experience, which is a fair idea. Like me, who is uh, not 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 that leveled up yet. I'll get there someday. Oh, it's been five minutes. Shall I just get started? Well, you know, I realized that we're probably going to be starting like in the middle of a scene because of how circumstances pan out. Um, Bandicam, are your settings set to just okay? Good, good. Uh, you're working. Stream is up. 
Leaning back, turning all the, the, the levers and bobs like I'm in a big mecha. mecha. Zing, zing, zing. That's actually where my, 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 my character name, my, my name derives from. I didn't even know what a mecha was when I originally chose that name. No, not that name, but like the name that led to that name. Deplore. Deplore! Deplore. Deplorable. Deplorable. I haven't done a lot of writings in a few days because I've been busy with everything. I've got so much I need to do. And it's like, uh, my little leggies just go up and I wiggle like a cat on my back. Yeah, we'll give it four more minutes. Let everyone slide in at their own pace while I talk in a raspy voice. I think I missed that one guy who wanted to say hello. And I'm stupid. And I should have said hello, but I was so tired I went to bed instead. Hmm. <laughs> Bum 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 Oh man. How to DM for optimizers from back that I haven't watched that guy's video in a while. I'm so busy. I've been tired. It's ironic. I have more time than ever before, but I'm still more tired. More more sleepy. No, there's a bunch of people I can actually play for that if I really wanted to. The worst Robin Hood in gaming. Ah, one short eye did like a whole bunch of stuff on speedruns. That was cute. Adventure game speedruns are so weird. What a novel concept. I want to watch YouTube videos, but I can't because I'm streaming and people will yell at me. And I can't even watch my own video because then it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I just want to know what that license is about. Tenshi, why must you do this to me? i got to watch the whole gosh darn video before I can give you feedback. You'll think I'm so rude. Taking forever to answer. All right. I know what I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. Why, why would I live? By the raw five number increments of life, when I could live by my rules, my way or the highway, as they say. All right, I'm gonna turn on Bandicam in three, two, one. So as I mentioned, um, I feel really bad about that past recording session. That was a mess. Um, no, 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 no. That was a shit show. That is the definition of a shit show. That was me losing my absolute mind and going places I specifically wanted not to go. And I regret it. But you can't take it back. Not without screwing all the pooches. I could restart. I don't want to do the musical sequence again. So we're just going to go forward with our lives. Move on. As they say. Into episode two. Attack of the clones. It turns out Fang was in a clean facility. Oh. Yep. By the way, I can't imagine that's healthy. Like, power restart like that. Uh, What? Just text back. Say hello. Very funny. Do we go to school together? I mean, it went very funny, but I know let's be inquisitive this time. Dino gang. Now, you know what? If I'm going to do this. Oh, no, please, please, please. I, 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 I'm going to do this anyway. I'm going to do this anyway. Might as well. Might as well actually ham it up a little bit, you know? Might as well Might as well yuck it up a little bit. I'm, I've already yucked it so bad that at this point anything is an improvement, realistically speaking. I hate landmines, though. They're not fun. I think they would work way better if the system was a bit more integrated and had a bit more mechanics to it. Uh, what? Like, why is that one of the options? was scary! Whatever it was. Ooh! Anyone else get this? Like, is this, just, is just, is this the weather? Everyone's getting, getting? No. <laughs> it's end of the world! Everyone gets one! But I think it's from his ex! Oh, his, his brother is Orson, by the way, he's already mentioned, like, he does deliveries and stuff. That's so awkward! The energy is wild. Just a random phone number. Can I also point out that the asteroid has like the best dramatic timing when it comes to the uh, the power outages? They happen like at the Battle of the Bands after the show and during, like at a weirdly thematically and dramatically appropriate moment. And now too, like oh they've announced it and it shows. I don't know. Whoever's whoever's holding the the power switch to the town needs to needs to get a new job because <laughs> he's he's a little too good at it. Woo! Secret admirer. 
Now that's an exciting asteroid contact. Wait. Is is it is it a meteor or an asteroid? Need to know. Yeah, I mean, listen, you might as well you need to know what names to call him. You gotta know what what to yell at him. Whoa. There's already a meme page. Of course there is. People are the best after all. Like so much you could have done with this. It's a bit flat. It's a bit flat. Like, oh, you have to wait a second for this to show up? Well, god, gosh, diddly dang it. Gotta watch my language, too. I swore like a sailor. And that's just not gonna fly anymore. What's the internet say? Oh, we still gotta do a doom score. Like I said, there's a lot of interesting ideas that just don't get used the way they should have been. We just with a little bit of zest. A little bit of passion, a little bit of love. Like the doom scrolling thing, you can use that multiple times. Not a lot of people tell you don't use don't use X, Y, or Z too many times in a row, because it weakens the thematic element. But if you use it well, it kind of bolsters the idea. Like every time Fang is sitting still, there's doom scrolling, and it always has the interesting comments, maybe some funny statements. Maybe it's where the cool memes are hidden. Maybe that's where you put the cool art. But if you look at it, Fang feels worse, and you lose out on those precious Fang self love points. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Very easily said and done. And you just lock a couple of scenes behind everything. Oh, ideas. They're easy. Execution is hard. I know that because I've been executing a lot, and it's hard. You should get some sleep, man. Let it simmer in your brain. One, the door is back. Two, I love how Nasser shows up, because normally when you say don't, you go downstairs to see him, and they, they really want this. Hey, you... This also means that technically speaking... Them deciding to stay here has, like, quantum effects, which, again, is fine. Look, I'm fine with that. But if you're gonna do it, do it with the asteroid. Um, you hear the news? Bloodlust. Uh, let's give him a little pep talk. Yeah. People are freaking out. But no one really knows anything yet. It's probably nothing. Tell that to Naomi. She's been texting me ast- I'd like to point out that, the, that there's a, a lot of people, there's a lot of arguments about this, but I personally feel that if things are going bad and you know that you can do better, or at least try to make things a bit better, do it. You never know if the, if the yes you gave might have been the thing that helped someone get through the day. You know, just like they, they said in Snoop Game, everyone's fighting their own Droid facts, and they are high-octane nightmare fuel. Sounds like Naomi. That's how you know they're good you facts. You know every fact she sends me has been cross-checked with at least three verified sources. Kind of hard to dismiss. Hit me with some, uh, uh, hit me with some, because I, I know a lot of these anyway. Let me hear some. Well, okay. For a start, this is the biggest object to get this far into the solar system in, in, ever. Yikes. Good thing it's I don't know what it is, but I saw this with Naomi too when I was re-looking at some of the old footage. And Naomi's sitting on the couch and like Fang is standing in the doorway. But they're... Their asses and hips are so chunky when they sit down. They are so angular. It's awkward as, as I don't even know what's going on anymore. Not gonna hit us, then. Yeah. Seriously? It's not. There's already memes about it, and that means it'll be over in, like, a month. Yeah? Yeah, no, you're right. Thanks. Trust me. You staying up? You wanna know why to do a lot of stuff like this in recording studios? Because, um, sound quality. Uh, you can tell the acoustics. Um, there's something I wanted to look up here that I think he just mentioned. What was it again? There was something he said that I wanted to look up. Biggest object? Okay, so... Uh, Hitchhikers... Hitchhikers guide to a space quote. Um, how big is space, according to it? No, no, that's not the one. In the opening section, it's like space is really big. Like you have no idea how gosh darn big it is. Big. Tell me how big space is, hitchhiker guide. I desire to know how big space is. Oh, I love this. Man, that's a that's a good introduction quote. Far out in in the uncharted backwaters of the unfashionable end of the western spiral arm of the galaxy lies a small unregarded yellow sun. Orbiting this at a distance of roughly 92 million miles is the utterly insignificant little blue-green planet whose ape-descended life forms are so amazingly primitive they still think digital watches are a neat idea. Yeah, don't worry, we'll get to that. Um, is it later then? 
Oh, here we go. Here's the quote. Space, it says, is really big. Re is big. Really big. You wouldn't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemist, but that's just peanuts to space. And I think that's true. Space is huge. If Jupiter entered the solar system, then yes, it would probably be the biggest object, because it's the biggest object that isn't the sun. <laughs> now, that's an easy contest, buddy. But yeah, like, space is huge. Two objects colliding is weird, especially if it's not because of gravity reasons. Like, if something hits you out of nowhere, like a fly on your windscreen, that's just weird. No. Gonna head to bed. I think it turned on autoplay again, because like I said, this game is made by a bunch of clowns. I f fucking told you it's made by a bunch of clowns. Uh, Bandy Kim will not like this. Why does it do- th why does it reset all this? Oh my god. Yeah, Bandy Camp freaked out. Oh, goddamn. Why are you like this? Luckily, Bandy Camp can fix this kind of stuff, but I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it at all. And it's doing it again! Because I didn't save it, that's why. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, keep the resolution. God damn it. Why are you like this? Why do you reset your default settings? You dumb... I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. Let's just stop this. So that's the one, right? And these are all, like, the, the, the resolution shifts? Okay, I gotta delete those now. Well, I guess that's one point in, the, in, in that schoolhouse. But yeah, auto plays back off again. Actually, let's just leave it on. I complained about it before, so I might as well put it on. Okay. I didn't put it back on again, because I'm really stupid. Okay. Me too. Good night. Night. That he slides in through the door diagonally like that is just like, what? Look at how dramatic thing looks. <gasps> It's gonna be fine. I already pointed that out, so I'll point it out again. You cannot lay on your wings like that without it just being a cramp fest. Ouch. It's senior year. Just gotta make it to the summer tour. That's a really weird way of putting it. I guess Fang is like their entire emotional state riding on this, but wouldn't you be like... Mm. I wouldn't... I don't know the phrasing kind of irks me. There's NASA's car. The NASCAR. As communities all across the continent reacted to the... Okay, so you're not supposed to pick this option, but I'm gonna do it. News because I want to hear more about the universe. Unknown space object this morning. Uh, I can't even do it. I, I'm legally required to turn it off. Man, enough about the asteroid. Yeah, that's a good call. I might be obsessing. When did you start listening to Pangea this morning? I thought the goal is to not turn it to dead. Uh, I have my own reasons to stay informed. I'm on the debate team. I'm class president. And dad could never pull off this outfit that I'm totally crushing. This silence is nice. We okay, cool, we missed that. That's great, because Bandicam decided to turn off. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed, you have no idea how pissed I am. Anyway, we got in the car, and I had to turn off the radio. And I don't know if we missed anything else. But, like, not much happened, and I, could, I couldn't turn the radio up. I wanted to turn the radio up, because that's, like, such a good time to, like, introduce us to some of the concepts, like politics. I know why you can't be bad, because there's a lot riding on the fact that people still want to be with Fang at the end of the story, but, like, just don't write the story like that, and don't give me those options. Like, you're making the game. You know, you know what this reminds me of? Let me know how do I put this in, like, a few concise terms. This reminds me a lot of, like, people who make a ta tabletop RPG system, and they're like, here's combat, and it's really complicated. I'm like, why is it? Well, because D&D is very complicated when it comes to combat. And it's like the only, like... It, it, be, because, you know, that's how it's done. You know, that's how business is done. And I hate that. I hate it when that is the... I feel like if you're making something like this and you're already taking this big of a leap into a rather interesting and terrifying territory, you gotta make those leaps. Make it work. Like, here's the thing, right? You can stick to a standard story, to a very standard, traditional, structured narrative, and build up from there and make it work. I don't get it. I just don't get it. There's so much potential here, and it makes me so angry. It makes me a grumpy little boy who, who batters his little fists against the table going, I wish I would I would give everything away for Snoot Game to be the worst game, and this to get all of Snoot Game's raw artistic potential instead. Because while Snoot Game has a cute story, it's, it's a basic story. I think that if done well, 
this story could have something going for it. You know, reinterpretation of a disaster through the eye of a post-COVID world is a fascinating concept that we haven't seen yet compared to Jackass becomes a good guy. Although, admittedly, I do like the Jackass becomes a good guy story. I really do like seeing Anon become a good person because it's, it's... Who writes a story like that? No one wants to write an asshole. No one wants to write a piece of shit like that anymore nowadays. Especially not when they're supposed to be redeemable. But, I don't know. I feel like both had their merits. One just didn't bother. You don't need to fill it. Definitely not. Look at how stiff Nas are saying that. You have something to say. Just say it already. Except you have something to say. No. No. Well, hey, hey could I run something by you? Fine. So, today, big day, class president's speech at the assembly. If these people pull off a No Man's Sky with their game, I will book a flight to their gosh darn offices and personally, well, I, I would say kiss their butts, but it, I would just shake their hands very politely and probably hand out like free copies if they, if they would do that. If only because spite is the best motivator and making me look like an angry little boy who's been smite, spited is all the sweeter for it. Hell, they could probably rub it in Kavanon's face, and they'd be like, "You know what? We're, we're happy for you." Because I think Kavanon has the has the wherewithal to be like, "You know what? You did your you did your job. You made it work. You know what? You just, here you go, handshake." Because I think they got over themselves. Like I said, Snoot Game is literally criticizing the idea of making Snoot Game <laughs> in a way. In light of the whole space rock potential demise of civilization thing, my chosen theme feels off. What's the theme? Using. I'm I'm gonna point something out. Brace yourself. This year to, um, make an impact? Okay, wow. Yeah, that's, that's bad. I use it 542 times in a 1,000 word speech. I'm, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this. How did he do that? How? I don't know if you look at generic English sentence structures, but... Assuming that he's using me and I, like he's speaking as if he's himself instead of third person, how do you make half of the words impact? Admittedly, impact is a noun. You can make impactful, so you have an adjective. You can use it as a verb. But if you made half of the words that, you, f you, you messed up, my man. That's not a good speech. The semantic saturation you get from that, th like the word won't even, would not just stop looking like a word. The word impact will just be this vague eldritch concept that lives in your brain. And I referenced that in my, um, in the thing I wrote. I, I referenced that, like, the main character's like, if I ever hear anyone say impact again, I will vomit. This man is, is inventing a new definition for the term semantic satiation. How do you do that? How do you use that word for half of the, like, there's articles in there, right? There's articles and joining words. How did you do this? You wordsmith. Each. I even had a section where I rhymed every sentence with impact. How do you do that if half of the words are impact, my man? That's just a poem. You're describing a poem. And I think having a poem inside your speech is your <laughs> real problem. We have to act. Let's make this pact. Our goals can become fact. Please stop. Oh, it's a... It was a big... <laughs> it's as bad as I thought. It. No, I have to change it. Yeah, it's just too weird. Can I run some ideas by you? Please help me. <sighs> okay, pep talk time. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> we got a flash. We got a flash, Shobako. Oh, look, Nasser's in, in our inner. Inter he's, he's, he's entered a lower orbit. Impact with Nasser expected. Anyway, this is the worst flashback to get because it's just stupid puns. This looks so much better than the animated version for reasons I don't can't immediately explain. I don't know what it is, but it does look a bit better, even if it does look a lot stiffer, but it looks stiffer in a good way. Get it? The calendar has number days on it. Ha ha ho ho. Up dino. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, that is where updoc comes from. Like, what's updoc? Well, no, it's what's updoc, right? Uh. Also, the fact that they hang out at school like this kind of, on some level, rubs me the wrong way. Like, isn't school the one place you try to avoid your siblings? Because it's like, I already deal with you at home all the time. 
I don't want to see you at school. Fang practice downstairs. I will give him this much. This is a good one. Of all the puns, at least this is one that I didn't see coming. And it's pretty cute. <laughs> I do wonder how they did that with the mouth. Like, the mouth is open, and it's transparent to the other side. Like, do they just use a transparent texture or something? Because that's pretty... Looks all right, all things considered. Also, pointing out, Fang got the hair makeover... Um, If you were paying attention, be after summer break? Which means that this is all happening in a really short pair of time. Yes. Uh, in Snoot Game, I think they're a lot closer in age. Because I think Nasser also graduates. Or he skipped a year. Who, who even knows at that point? But yeah. No one even listens to those speeches anyway. Nope. Seriously, please. You're so comfortable on stage, and I don't know how you do it. And I want to be that way. Help him out, buddy. Okay, here's what I'd suggest. You've got to... Everyone needs a little bit of a, of a good laugh. No, 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 they need sincerity. They can get laughs from memes. Let people in a bit. What if you just told the truth? How are you feeling about all of this? It's not about me. Like, it's really impressive how the mouth works. Because with, with Naomi, we noticed that the mouth doesn't move, the, the jaw doesn't move properly. But with, with this one, like from the side, actually, they did a pretty good job on it. Nope. I'm supposed to speak for the student body? I would prefer if their mouths moved a bit more. There's something about giant japping jaws that just gets me. This is kind of, it all looks a little goofy, but it also has a little bit of charm, you know? It has a little bit of character. And you are. And you're better at doing that than you think. But let's say people are feeling as confused as you are. Coming in as if you know everything would be the worst thing you could do. Yeah, just set them up for failure. Thank you. You give pretty good advice sometimes. Sometimes. Wow, I have never been to school this early. Tell me, we went to. You mean on time? <laughs> uh, well, good luck today. Thanks. And you'll be there. I'll just focus on you and the audience. <laughs> yeah. Assembly? I can't remember the last time I actually went to that. See? It'll be a fun new thing for you. Plus, you'll get all the hot intel on Senior Picture Day. Woohoo! These do not sound like siblings who have like. This, these do not sound like siblings who have conflicting interests and characteristics and are just bouncing off each other. This just sounds like two people who are making do in a work relationship, <laughs> in a weird way. That's the voice actors for you. Oh, we got some more. We got some more things going on. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff here. Parents, tonight is back to school night. Entrance four, eight p.m. What is that? Like introduction or something? Hmm. What is all this? Have you tried eating it? What the fuck is wrong with you? How do I get my mom? How do I get my mom to stop keeping my baby extra on top of the bookshelf in the living room? What if a boy comes over? Oh my god! Eat it! Eat the eggshell! It'd be funny if this was one of the species that does that. I have no idea if Fang is a redhead in uh, the other one. But considering that Lucy never actually seems to do anything with it, and I think her mother has, like, pretty white hair, right? I think it's safe to say that Lucy probably is, in fact, a, a silver hair. Which is a bit weird. A little little, a little strange, but I, I, I can live with it. Anon's bold, <laughs> after all. Uh, Fang parents, let's see. No, no, Lucy's blonde. Pretty, pretty light blonde. Not platinum blonde, I don't know, but definitely noticeable. Future of her sets? Like, future, future Fang would probably not have the hair dyes going on. So, Fang is probably... might actually be. Huh. Man, I really do like the D-ending outfit that Fang's got going on. It's really nice. Anyway, let's move on. I Look at me. I've been able to keep myself under control for a little bit. I do wonder, like, Volcano High should have an icon, right? Oh, oh I love this scene. Look at this. What are you doing here? So many characters. You being up this early feels wrong. The implication that Fang does not show up to school on time is weird, and it gets weirder, very weirder. Uh, considering it's 10 a.m. But maybe that's just my perspective. I don't know. Gotta say, a, th a small detail. 
But I want to say, I do like that the heads are all in slightly different orientations on this. Like, Reed's snoot is emphasized. Fang's is a bit more downplayed. Nasser's also a bit downplayed. But they're looking in different directions, and Stella's got a headshot. Uh, Rosa's even looking, like, away. A nice variety of, like, facial shots. Just, just good. Wait. Blink twice if you're a mimic. That's not how mimics work. <laughs> new year, new me. Okay. But if you join debate club or something, I'm getting you some help. Yeah, then we gotta talk to our bro. Mm, Ugh. Fair. Ugh. Also, I think it is a bit loud. I'm gonna turn down just a smidge. Just a smidge. A little better. To, uh, easier to hear. Because we're here for me. Look at all these cute characters. I'm like, okay. Ugh. Okay, everybody. Ugh. Lots of assembly energy happening right now. What the fuck are you talking I about? I like it. Oh, are they still doing that? <sighs> I don't know. The whole apocalypse thing really puts talking about Pizza Fridays in a different light. Get it, trucks, because I think they're called vans? The shoes? Hmm. I was just gonna go chill on the roof. You are obsessed with going up there. You're above and inside, on the outside. Okay, okay, L back up. I think that Reed not being a pothead really kind of kills what you could do with Reed here. If we could start this off with, I stopped, qu I quit smoking this, this summer. Like, I put in all the work and I quit smoking this summer of the weed. I only smoke tobacco. And then Reed is, shows up and he's back to pot because of the whole apocalypse thing. He's using it to medicate himself. Would have been a nice element. Would have been a nice element to just have Reed be like, to, to go back to being a stoner, but out of medication. Like, he's not even doing it for fun or because he likes doing it. It's like he needs it to stay sane throughout the year. That'd be a cute, it's a instant, instant character drama. Because Fang is like, ah, oh, Reed, stop. You're bringing me back to the old ways, to the old habits. And Trish is like, I thought you quit. Like, ugh, everything stinks now. Because at least with tobacco, like, you smoked every once in a while, like, away. Uh, I don't know. Like, I get it. They're trying to show a more cohesive friend group who makes it through the apocalypse. I don't know if that's really something you have to do. Like, that, does that make good story writing is the question. Does it make a good story? It's awesome. It is awesome, though. When you think about it. If you don't, it's not that awesome. Like, this scrolling thing barely comes up. <laughs> and it's even weirder because you can't go back and forth in actual conversation. Which creates this weird double standard. It's just goofy. That's all I'm saying. I'm European and I think today um, is weird. This is great news! LJ thinks we have talent. <laughs> Look at Trish! Gosh, you think she could write a nice text for once? I actually like that post. It's pretty um, good. Uh... What should I say back? I mean, that will be there? Wait, there's a gif I think is perfect. Ah, uh, not helpful. Be grateful. You confident? I think, I think LJ is the kind of person who appreciates a little bit of politeness. Yeah! Everyone likes it if you're nice. Es especially if you're not ass-kissing about it. Just nice. I think this means she's rooting for us? We're gonna get in? We still don't know what they Or she's like. telling us not to get our hopes up. Wow, downer. She wouldn't bother. No way. She wouldn't bother with that. Ugh. Emergency band meeting. We need a plan for the audition. Where did you get- The showcase is huge. So, meeting on the roof? Oh my gosh, get over the roof. Perfect, let's go. Wait a minute, don't we have like a week till the audition? Exactly. We discussed this you yesterday. can love the view up there. Literally discussed this yesterday. Where are they getting the time for this? Is it lunch hour? If it's lunch hour, shouldn't they be doing a conventional band meeting? <laughs> She's so icky. Oh, you and me, Trish. You and me. Just the two of us. Look at this cute picture, though. They're so cute. Ah. Wow. Yeah, this is... Pretty great. I mean, it's a cool roof. You got plants, you got a greenhouse, maybe a smoker's cabin, I don't know. Right? Peaceful. And no suicide fencing. <laughs> no thanks. I quit. My voice. Anyway, the bad news. About the giant rock that's gonna kill us all? Yeah. We heard. We need new songs for the audition. Seriously though, I got like no sleep thanks to the news. What if it's real? I mean, it's probably, definitely, real. 
So, like, it could be just as bad as people are saying. So, I, I, I have a tiny problem with this. The only thing we got is, hey, this rock has like an itty bitty baby chance of showing up, and it just showed up on our radar. It's all the way out there, and they're putting it on the on the on like the actual like national news, and everyone is, I don't know. Like Reed seems so chill. Why don't we build up that idea first? Like, hey, Reed's got a little bit of a worry word about him, and and Trish is consumed by her future, and then we get into like this idea that they would be sensitive to this, while Fang is not because Fang is oh. It, they drop it in, like, day one, and they start off with it. When it's, like, something that should be introduced after we know the character's good enough, that we're like, oh, no, I care about you poor little babies, and I know how you're going to respond to it a little bit. And then they hit you with those twists where they act a little different. Or, I don't know, just, just some... They never even tell us if we were all toast. Which is what I'm doing in my thing, where it takes them until December, until January to announce it, because that way you have a little bit of time to fuck around with things. And then when the asteroid does show up in January, they've already done a lot of research. And it's like normal people with their normal telescopes have started picking it up. Because at that point, it feels more like they're holding something back and it might be a bigger threat. And people have more of a reason to immediately get worried, even if they normally wouldn't be. Right? What if everything were... It doesn't have to be a conspiracy. It just needs to have like a more immediate thing than everyone is being a little baby. The roof will never be the same after Snoot Game. I know ending A. And also the, 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 the door getting thrown through the gosh darn fencing. But <laughs> roofs will never be the same. Doing is for nothing. I just spent hours on homework when I could have been, I don't know, some fun bucket list thing. If this was a well-written character, she would have probably thought something up immediately. The band is that thing. Exactly. That's what we're doing. And we can still win Battle of the Bands, asteroid or not. Really? Should we even practice at a time like this? Why is Trish saying this? The band was her idea, for one. And two, why is Trish like, hey, this fun thing we do where we all hang out together? Why, why don't we stop doing that? Isn't band practice something you like doing, Trish? Is it a job for you already? Like, how about you cut down on that stupid project you got going with Rosa? Instead, I don't know. Or should we throw off the shackles of capitalism like and making bounce music, into a Trish. life of freedom and hedonistic self-indulgence? By making music, Trish. <sighs> Hell yeah, Trish. Let's do the music thing, thanks. Which, again, is why we're up here. Again, the heights of the characters, their dimensions are a little screwy. I don't know what it is, but every single time I see him in a different pose from a different angle, my brain goes, they're different now. These people have transmorgified. To talk about the songs. So that'd be, what, three new ones? That's a lot. That's a lot, dude. That's a lot. That's a lot. I have this project with Rosa and a test already happening in calculus. How? Plus babysitting. It's been like a day and maybe two periods. How are you already having tests in calculus? Oh, you probably have one of those teachers who hate your guts and wants you to make you feel miserable and hate math. Getting again and my sister's birthday. Be sympathetic. Like, show a little love. They need it. Yeah. It's true, you're you're dealing with a lot. Ooh. Let's just play an old song in like a new way. Ugh, they're so embarrassing. Wow, okay, sorry. Yikes. They are though. Rude. <laughs> we never hear them. No, but... Ugh, I didn't mean it like that. I just wanna write about bigger things now. Our old stuff is about big things. But you could change some of it, I guess. Works for me. Let us know when you're done. Well, maybe we can all pick one at lunch. Sure, sure. Look at how high I gotta go. Pants are. To my locker, but in a shady way. Every single time, Trish slides out of a conversation. No, no care. Trish just doesn't want to be in any of these conversations. Just gone. I have a terrible secret today. Doesn't specify, just leaves. Oh boy. Was that weird? Was I weird with Trish just now? Like, weird weird? Yeah, kind of. Uh, are you okay? You've come into this year kind of intent. You use weird a lot, but I'll give you this much. You kind of want to have a stable vocabulary for characters that are in a stable environment, because that makes sense that they would talk like that, because they got, they got certain canon phrases. It's with the band stuff. What's up? <sighs> Summer kind of sucked. I don't know. Summer sucked. I was trapped here with my family. They don't take me seriously like anything. Missing words, but two, I never saw this choice taken, I think.
And this is the stuff I was talking about, building up that friction. Music, the band, my name, none of it is worthy of respect to them, I guess. How is this missable? Or at least acknowledging that it's important to me. The band is important. Because the band is the one thing Why you did have. she have to just leave? I said it was an emergency. You did, and it is to you. Thanks, Reed. Oh, I don't know which church to take, though. So I was... Exactly! Yeah, and I'm in the band, so therefore... Oh, that's not how I interpreted band that. Band emergency. Yeah, but it is weird that Trish is, like, not interested in the band. I bet this would be a good spot to be if it hits. The asteroid? Definitely. It's got a nice view! Yeah. Might as well have an incredible view of the end. It's weird how everyone's acting like nothing is different. Because literally nothing really happened. Like, to me, everything feels different now. Why are you the one even in a million guy? Even it's just a maybe? It's not even a maybe. It's like a one in a million at this point. Like, I don't get it. Like, at least be like, the, the object has like a 50% chance of hitting maybe. And it feels too early. It, it just... Uh, you gotta hammer it home. Don't be so subtle. Just fucking hit me with the text. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if it's a story about people blowing up something that's not gonna happen, then focus on that idea, but don't path-ass it when it's not the point! It's like, once something may or may not happen, you can't stop thinking about it. And that's like the rest of my life all of a sudden. We're going on tour with the band. You, me, Trish, a van with our name on the side. Nothing has changed. I'd like to point out that, in between all this, going on tour with a band sounds exhausting. You're... Either finding places to stay throughout your journey, or you should pay for it and everything, or you're sleeping in the van. Reed has to constantly drive and do band performance and like do drum performances. And like Trish is making friends with someone else, and you have like your own friends back home. Like going on a tour sounds like a massive drain if you're not 100% invested in it. The van would be pretty sick. We're setting things up here, by the way, for the future. Don't worry. This is actually important. So, to think about it. you know how we all play legends and lore, right? Just yesterday, we talked to Reed about joining his game, and he had a character ready for us. An ITM? Yeah. I'm joining this weekend, right? Yeah, this happened yesterday! Yes. Anyway, I've been playing- Like, if you- If this was better written, you, you have a better flow into it. Like, they- he would say, remember that thing we talked about yesterday, because they talked about it yesterday, and that's how people talk. People mention, hey, remember this prior conversation we had recently enough that both of us should remember it, instead of, hey, remember this thing I'm doing that we- I brought up yesterday, and it's kind of weird that I'm, like, bringing it up as a tertiary topic? Ugh. Like, it wasn't even a conversation that happened around Fang. Fang involved themselves in the conversation and agreed to something. So, read, you are smoking pot and your brain is dying. Playing LNL since I was like eight years old. I know the game better than anyone in this whole school. It sucks when the people you want to share it with aren't as interested. So, I get it, but I don't know if a lot of other people do. By the way, good nugget of wisdom. I'll give Reed this much. That's a good nugget of wisdom. That's a fair and honest open sentiment. I don't know why it's in the first act, because this feels like something you want to put in the second act, or the third, like put it closer to when it's dramatically relevant, instead of like, we haven't even identified the f we. So the A plot right now, for most people looking, is been Battle of the Bands and the, and the audition. It's slowly shifting to, oh, Trish doesn't seem to be as involved. Why are we already talking about the resolution of other people have problems too and you need to learn some perspective before we've even established that Trish is that upset about this. Like, it's a little early for this revelation. Like, Principal Spears says this to Anon because he knows that Anon's a little fucking shit. And we already know that Anon's a little fucking shit. So we're already against Anon. So we already want him to be a better person. So him bringing that up early is just a nice echo for the mind. But here, it's only just started to really creep in that maybe Trish isn't 100% on board with this? It's a little early for your big revelation heartfelt moment. It makes sense, but... Mm, like, I get it. If you want to be a realistic writer, go ahead. But realistic writing doesn't necessarily result in something that dramatically snaps and has that punchiness to it. Like, if Reed is confrontationally evasive, then shouldn't he put this up when it's already dire enough that he should really provide some context? I don't know. Mm. Well, we're not saved by this bell. Sorry to tell you, buddy. I would love to be saved by the bell.
But th this battle didn't do it for us. The auditorium. That's Latin. This implies you had Latin. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's that's nitpicky. Time stuff. to assemble. Why are you Good luck with that. Catch me up on whatever I miss. About the yearbook dance or whatever. I would have preferred it if he if he read that line as yearbook dance, but whatever. I've literally tried to warn people. Oh, this is a fan. <laughs> okay, now if you're very intelligent, you may have noticed that the settings have decided to also eat my goddamn background opacity because this is made by a bunch of clowns. You're not coming? <laughs> no. I gotta do some invoicing and some L&L planning. Wanna ditch... I've been wondering about what the invoicing means. And I think it probably has to do with his, like, what does he invoice? Because he runs deliveries, right? But does a delivery person do invoices? I'm not saying this because I'm like, oh, the, the, they don't do it. I'm saying that as like, I don't know how deliveries work. And if the, I guess they might, like maybe he has to take the invoices with him. Like he has to fill them in. But as a delivery person, wouldn't he be? Like, wouldn't Reed be given the instructions? Like, shouldn't someone else give him the invoice? That makes way more sense to me. Uh, I think this version of Fang comes from, like, the Middle East. I think the uh, developers are Lebanese or something, so it's implied to be from that direction. The only reason I know that Fatma works out the way that it does Fatma, Fatima, is because people from that region do happen to hang out a little bit uh, over here, the Middle Eastern cultures. In the Netherlands. Uh, large Turkish and Moroccan people background around here, so. Shows up. With me. Well, Trish is in there, so. Look, there's Braille! Look, there's, there's, look at the sign! There's Braille under the auditorium! I told you! Where they didn't do it for the music room? Anyway, this is a fun segment, so we gotta be fast. Let's go. Scoot, 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 the loot! We don't have time, buddies. Read it while you can. You can rewind. We got full video playback. I like how that guy's just tatted up to the nines. I like Des. Des is pretty cute! D is adorable. They are always hustling. Serena's got the gossip. Abby is so cool. I like Abby! Oh. Such character. Abby's got that sass. And we got Claire the Swamp Girl. We already saw her a little bit ago. We got uh, KT. Catastrophe. Oh. And yeah, flying dinosaurs are a thing. Mark's fun. Can we see them from here? I think they're somewhere like in the middle, right? Oh, look at all those cute little exits. Oh, there's a button we can push. We can press B to exit. There they are. Are you gonna go in? This character, uh, Fang never learns the name of, and it gets brought up several times in like the little in 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 the name in the name card gag. <laughs> but they're titled as Smoker Dino in the Billings for the credits. No. We gotta go sit. Um, I think this option, by the way, is for Nasser. If you want to get Nasser points, we gotta go sit with him. We gotta be nice about this. Guess I have to. Rosa's getting involved. We gotta get involved. Everyone always takes this option, Hi. though. Hi. I saved you a spot. Excellent seating choice, right? Not so close to the front that we have to, like, make awkward eye contact. I worked at a movie theater. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at the green one in between the two of them. Oh, look at that. Last That's a summer. cute design. Oh. So I'm kind of an expert like on one. optimal seating. Is that a joke? Yeah, good choice. I like the designs. Maybe I should work at a movie. movie. Oh, we got a plate skirt. We got a plate skirt in the background. Hockey Play theater. Overall, oh my god, wait. I heard you got an audition for the showcase. That's huge. Oh yeah, we're gonna be amazing. No big deal. Stoner Dino is pretty good though. Oh, hey, did I tell you what Mango stole this morning? Not one, but three socks from my lawn. Look at that green one though. I like it so much. Okay. Do you think she's trying to build a nest? I mean, I know... There's a guy with an angler vest behind uh, Trisha's head. You can barely make it out, but he's got, like, hooks on it. <laughs> it's cute. Sometimes they build dens, but usually only in mating season. 
Oh my god. Baby mangoes? Ah! Yes, please. I want If this was if this was Snoop game, we would get a joke about that. We would get a my eardrums joke. I'm five. A dozen. Ah, wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're so hey, awkward. Hey, it's starting. We should have had the scene earlier, though. I feel like establishing that Fang is socially awkward in this blatant a fashion should have been a little early. Although I have mentioned before that, like, there's a merit of being a little subtle. And then hinting at it once, tri twice, trice, and then pfft, just smacking you with it. But mm. The principal. <laughs> oh, the principal. It's one of the adult characters in the, sh in the game. Look at him. Good morning. We have a... Okay, pay attention. Due to the way they handle the lines in this, every single thing that echoes gets cut off. Pay attention. A quick announcement, and then we'll hear from our class president. Truly an inspiration to us all. It's worse when LJ does her thing, but... Yes, and hi, I'm Naomi. And I'm here to remind you that the Yearbook Club is still looking for members. I know I want to remember this year forever. So you can join and be part of making our memories last a lifetime. Look at that cute girl in the overalls with the sweater. That is so cozy, but also way too hot for an environment that's in the tropics. She is suffering for the aesthetic. Ah, oh, also cozy sweaters. Time oh. through cute. good design. And speaking of your book, don't forget, senior pictures are coming up. Um, uh, so some good tips for taking good photos can be found on the Yearbook Club website at... Okay. Well, uh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> what happened? Like, I've seen this scene a bunch of times. I, uh, there's not enough animation to convey what just happened. Like, I feel there should have been an explanation. There's no narrative descriptions or anything or thought bubbles or anything. So what happened? I don't think anyone ever tells. The microphone just acts up, which, fair enough, there is electromagnetic interference, but... Uh, I don't know. It just feels a little rough. Like, the, the, the phone thing and the bell thing are very opaquely m issues. This feels more like she's bumping the mic, but she's not moving. So I don't know what it is. It makes me confused and distracts me. It's probably just me, though. She seems fearless. I not never talk she like that. She seems fearless. Oh, that was a thought bubble. Why are we suddenly doing those? Look, we're all feeling a little off right now? I know I am. You hear that cut? Oh, that's a cut. But I also know I'm not alone. And I know you aren't either. Why are you looking like that? feels like that, come find me. Seriously. Oh. He's connecting. It's working. Rosa is kind of nice. Rosa is nice. Really nice. Be nice. What's her deal? I don't really get a fake vibe, but... In conclusion, maybe the rock will hit us, and maybe probably it won't, but either way, we will still have each other. Kind of. Okay, and that's my perfectly crafted plug for the big dance. So, end of the year, mark your calendars, prep your moves. That's it for me. You've been great, Volcano High. Please don't post any videos of this, like, anywhere ever. Thanks. You did okay. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> <sighs> Woo! I got photographed! Okay. Oh, look, Nasser's... Oh, Nasser... We got an impact! Impact, impact, impact. He's a goofball with stage presence. Not to be weird, but that speech was, like, amazing. Um, not weird. Do you have eyes? Nasser can get it. But you were mm. listening. It's a speech you listen. Don't see it. <laughs> That's my husband you're talking about. But, okay, so a lot of people... So here's the thing, right? It's obvious that Stella is, like, talking about uh, Nasser husband. No one really drags too much attention to it, lending credence to the idea that Nasser is, you know, a little bit of a gay man. and Or, you know, Stella's more like he's younger than me and it's awkward at this point. I don't know, but it feels like something, something's going on there, you know. Hey, uh, hey, hey guys. <laughs> I forgot to mention it at assembly, but the Young Engineers Club has some openings for new members. <laughs>
Yeah, like I said, Fang feels ridiculously tall a lot of the time. Oh yeah? What kind of thing do you- It gets worse for some reason. When it's up close, it's fine, but when the camera zooms out a lot of the time, Fangs feels taller for some reason. I don't know what it is. Hmm. I think because proper group shots really emphasize it. Also, would like to point out that Naomi is approaching this group, and this is so- I'll do. Ugh. Well, on Thursday, we'll be dissecting a frog. Also, the auditorium was full, and there's one door open. Like, are we either waiting around too long, or what? Like, what's the context for the rest of the crowd? Uh, robotic frog. Oh, sick! Look at Stella. Stella is just zoned out at this conversation. Yeah, and it'll look good on college applications, so the more the merrier. Wait, I thought you were going to be a physician, though. Uh, Sweat I, I mean, I, I am. <laughs> Engineering is basically just surgery for machines. Why is everyone so judgmental? <laughs> totally. Anyway. That is so awkward. I hate it. it oh, secondhand cringe getting. Ooh. Um... Just kiss already. Okay. Everyone at once. Bye. <laughs> so, what's the deal with Miss Robot Frog and Nasser? Are they a thing or. Naomi? Nah. Oh my god, you're obsessed with him! You know what you should do? You should do a tarot reading about it. Who says I haven't? What did it say? Drew the lover. I drew the lovers yesterday. Your deck is haunted. There's no big deal. Oh, I love that card! What a weird transition, huh? It's like, I love that card, and then we're just out. You want to know how you can do this a bit better? Is you have like a half-recorded line that fades out, so that it's like, oh, now they're talking about nothing, and then we zoom on on this. It's a little smoother than jump cut. It's a fucking locker jump scare. I'm jump scared by someone standing at lockers. Oh, hey. Locker pals. How does that happen? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we finally met. Trish talks about you, like, all the time. Ha! <laughs> Does she really? Oh, yeah. Every song that came on Shuffle, she would have a whole story about a concert you two went to, or a riff you did. We've been into music for a long time. It feels like we're bound by it. But, you know, like... This feels like something that would have been useful a little earlier, before Fang started, before uh, Trish had objections to the song. Like, he introduced this a little earlier, so that you're like, oh, like... Obviously, music is the thing that ties the two together, so Fang is probably worried that if the music stops, then Trish will stop. You know, that kind of stuff. In, in a good way. I get it. And now Battle of the Bands? You're really killing it. Well, I don't know about that, but we're doing our best. I don't know. I work with LJ. Trust me. I know how picky she could be. It's implied she later gets a job at the Lava Java, but when did she work with, with LJ before? Because she was at a movie theater, right? And LJ doesn't own a movie theater, right? Getting that audition is a big deal. Yeah. You know, I really hope that Trish and Reed know that. Honestly, it seems like Trish is... They've been... She's been back for two days! This would work so much better if it was, like, next week! It's been two days! I know that Trish slides out of every conversation. Like, this is not an unestablished fact. Like, it's been established that Trish just slides out of everything. But two days is a little earlier to be like, oh, they're so busy. Like, maybe Trish just left a lot of stitches un unstitched when they left for the camp. I don't know. Just so busy since we got back. Judgy Jacobs? Well, I think Trish is figuring things out. She knows how important this is. She's just a bit scattered, a little anxious. We talk about it sometimes. Sorry. What for? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Perfect time to introduce a thought cloud that is Fang just going, oh, so you do talk with Trish about this, and Trish doesn't talk about it with me? So Trish, no, no, it should be like, Trish talks to you about this, and not with me? Like, yeah, simple thing. But I guess the, the emotions are supposed to communicate it. But again, it feels a little... Mm. No worries. If you're gonna do thought bubbles in the auditorium, like, why isn't that just Fang riffing with the others? Like, why isn't Fang just talking to everyone? Because there's people sitting next to them, that's a perfect conversation partner. It makes, I mean, there's also, like, standing behind, you have to basically have the same conversation, but... Mm. Don't square holes and round pegs. Oh, hey, I gotta go. I'll be sending good vibes at the audition. I'm on shift. I'll see you there. It's weird that apparently she works during that. Locker buddies? Just smooch already.
Yeah, it actually makes sense if Rosa's uh, mom, but that would involve adding an adult character, and we can't have those. We got Adana. Damn, Adana. Every day I come in here, and it's all, guys, the Kringle cosplayers are war criminal. Or cr the Krungle band feather intern, brand feather intern, was accused of vehicular manslaughter three years ago. What do you think about ever? <laughs> yeah, there's no braille. Look at... <laughs> Look at Reed sitting behind the... Why does he look like a little boy? <laughs> Why does Reed look like a little man <laughs> sitting behind his drums? Why is he facing his back to them also? Ugh. I mean, so everything is going to be, like, flattened, right? Squish, stuck to the bottom of a rock. Like, we're just gum or something. I mean, wherever it makes impact, yeah. Don't ever say impact. We just heard him say it a thousand times. If it makes impact. Right, right. So then everything else will just explode into dust? Fun fact, what actually happens is way worse. When an asteroid hits with that amount of speed, that amount of energy, you get atomized, baby! Ha <laughs> um, ha! The process is hilarious in just how incredibly extreme it is. But uh, you should look it up. It's fun. Good stuff. If you're at the, at the side of impact, it's hilarious. It's just something else. You're going you're gonna to learn how physics works. You get pretty dang close to figuring out what spaghettification feels like. Also, considering it travels like kilometers per second, and it travels faster than the speed of sound, you won't even notice it's impacting. You'll just see this little dot of light, and then, <laughs> gone. Like all those cars in the parking lot. The one that Fang tried to kick their way into and take it for a joyride. And all the straw wrappers and sunglasses and little air fresher things inside the cars. <laughs> Did you just write a poem? Shut up. You know what? I for <sighs> Smelmer. Selmer. Selmer writes good poems. You know what? That's almost a good poem. I think if you workshop it a bit, you can make it work. But it's not an intentional poem, so whatever. That's a Selmer poem classic. You really aren't thinking about it? The big kaboom? Definitely thinking about it. But also, there's really nothing we can do about it, right? We've gotta just control what we can until we know more. Zen. I guess. Which is why we are gonna absolutely nail this audition. That's like the one thing we can control right now. Speaking of minds. To say what we want and, and who we are and have people actually listen. Which by the way, can I point out that while well, Fang's transition business is treated with a lot of gravitas, Reed is fucking gay and it is given nothing. I have some issues with that. Let, let me let me let me take a drink a, and get get back on this because I think this is important and I think it shows the shifting windows. Right now. So the idea of scary Dave with smaller rocks is surface area is actually really useful. Like yeah, it'll still unleash a huge amount of energy. I don't know if it actually helps. I have no idea how that actually works. Because, like, the, the, the energy can't just go away, right? Oh, man, now, now I'm fucked up. Thanks. Um, but I want to talk about uh, Reed is gay. So, Fang gets, I'm transitioning and my parents aren't taking it seriously, my name. They are deadnaming me, etc. And it gets all this emphasis. Reed likes and is dating a guy to the point that he takes him to prom and no one gives a flying fuck. In real life right now, trans people are kind of under the, the, the crosshairs of everyone. And some gay people are turning Republican and are voting against those rights. Fuck you, got mine. And my problem with this is very simple. What? Are, are Reed's parents okay with this? Like, in in my thing, I actually wrote that like Reed has two moms. Because I, I like to imagine that in the and High World, there are two types of families. The ones that adopt... And the ones that just have kids and they're they're biological. I, I kind of go with the idea that like the world is so utopian compared to ours that depopulation is a massive issue, because there are no other countries that have massive child booms. Like it's literally what we live in right now. Like there's a population decline going on. So the government sponsors a lot of chil children, which is why most people we see in this game are well off, because every single parent gets a lot of money for having kids, because no one gets fucking kids. Because why would you have a fucking kid? We well, can live your life. And from that perspective, uh, Reed's parents they adopted. 
they, they, they had kids and they threw them under the bus. And, and Reed was like, you know, my, me and my brother were both adopted. We're from different families, but, you know, we live it up together. And I like the idea of just having someone with two moms, you know, look cute, look, look cute, look gay couple. And it also would explain why, why by him being gay never comes up because his parents don't give a shit. Alvin's parents might, but Reed's parents are like, yeah, this is where we are, buddy. <laughs> but if not, like, admitting all that, shouldn't Reed's sexuality, which is, again, non-standard, have more impact? Like, if... Like, wouldn't Fang's parents have something to say about this? Like, stay away from my son? <laughs> Don't touch Nasser! Only baby couples! It's a, it's, a, it's a thing, you know? You could do something with it. Instead of having me, just like Nasser, a token character that doesn't get any attention. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably overthinking this. Don't worry. And doing it on our terms. With our songs. And our hard work. Like, sure. This meteor might kill us all, but wouldn't it actually feel worse to blow our shot? I don't want to talk about blowing shots. <laughs> I don't want to live shots fired like that. And if LJ hates our stuff, that's exactly what's going to happen. So we just got to do Baby it. Face. Practice. Well, yeah, but that's not what I meant. Play our songs good? <laughs> yes, our songs. She wants something new, remember? But we can't do that before the audition, so we have to just rework an old song. F -f the back catalog. Okay, here are our options. First up, everyone's favorite, Puke Factory. My mother is a robot. Beep, boop. Oh my god, these titles. And last but not least, ugh, it bent Jimmy Two Face. I kind of like these these little these little uh, these little bits. They're actually pretty good. They're pretty cute. I also want to point out, LJ. I don't think ever comments on the fact that they're reusing old sound bits. In my rewrite, I'm pointing that out. But like, shouldn't LJ, who's been listening to their sound for a while, who is judging them on their merits, be a bit more like, "Are you trying to pull a fast one on me?" Because I know what you're doing. I don't know. It just feels like something LJ would be a little cynical about and then be like, ah, but you know what? You tried really hard and you made it work, so I'm good with it. I don't know. It just feels like something that a professional like LJ should be ham hamming on or at least point out at the minimum. And I don't think she does. Maybe I missed that part. Who knows? Like I said, Well, fools. what do we think? What's your favorite? Get Ben. Also, it would establish LJ as extremely competent. It would really be like, oh, she, the reason she's the talent scout is because like Fang's trying to pull a fast one. But like, no, 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 no. She's better than that. Jimmy Two-Face. That song gives me all the feels. In a good way now, though. My mother is a robot. Beep. Boop. Great. No consensus. They point this out in Snoot Games. You can't do democracy with three people. I guess we can go with... I say Puke Factory. Let's go for the Universal Classic. I mean, yeah. yeah no, let's, let's actually give, uh, let's give Trish a little bit of something back. Get bent Jimmy Two-Face. Yeah, that guy still sucks. So, it needs a new name. What else? Different key, new hooks. So wait, we have to redo the whole song in like a few days? Dude, no way we can do that. I, I, I don't like that Trisha's freckles are so downplayed. They're a cute little detail, but they're a little subtle. But we have to. And I also have to go to school and babysit and study and not fail my classes. Me too. Not babysitting, but you know, my job. Yeah, this is like an extreme makeover. I don't know if we can pull it off. Maybe we just don't? No, okay, um, just let me think. I will figure this out. I have my MIDI controller, and, and I can make it so your part isn't that different. Ooh, MIDI magic. Sick. I'll make it work, I pr Reed is the perfect person. The perfect person. To say the line, oh, cast your spell, oh, ye mighty wizard. Reed should say something like that. Because he's an LNL fan, he should say something stupid like that. Ah, like, give him that, uh, just perfect, you wasted it. You wasted him saying, cast your spell, wizard, with midi match. Uh, also, Trish is floating closer. The two of them are going to crash into each other, baby. Promise. Trust me. Just give me my little part. And I'll be there. Okay, okay. Cool. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be great. Why are you even a band if you're doing all this work and they do nothing? Save his little. Controller. 
Wasn't this on a, on like her on like the desk in the last few scenes? I don't know, but I think it was like on the table. MIDI controller. I'm just making things up in my brain. Oh, we get one of the few good, great animations in this one, though. Look at all those band posts. That's just nice. Are you cleaning? I feel faint. My door is there. I'm just looking for something. Oh, I thought this was all a highly specialized management system. Or that's what I've heard you scream at mom for years, anyway. It is. So, big audition coming up. How are you feeling about it? Good. Totally fine. Why? No, nothing. Just asking. I used to get really nervous before every debate tournament, you know? But Naomi taught me this great meditation. I can teach it to you sometime. I'm good, thanks. I'm kind of busy working on songs, actually. Would you ever be a solo act? What? No, no way. Worm Drama is a band. Interesting. That must be weird, though, right? Like, sharing something like that with other people? I mean, everyone thinks you're some mysterious rebel, but you actually have a really tight crew. You have friends, too. He's in a debate team! You got friends, dude. You have friends? Naomi? She's here a lot. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. I don't know. The band is special. I just think it's cool that you have that. I'm gonna go shoot hoops with my sports band. Did his wing chain... I don't even know. That's a cute animation, though! We can go straight for the MIDI controller. But there's a lot of stuff here. I'll read these someday. Probably. A boot! A boot? A generic black sock number 41. How I've missed you. These should probably go in the wash. Ugh, I should probably empty this out sometime. These are probably still good, right? Probably. Something, something mightier than the sword. Can I point out this one scene? This scene is actually all right. This is actually a really good execution of the core idea. You know, it's a, it's a little shake-up. We, we got a little shake up. We got some internal monologue. We got some character reflections. It's a nice little scene. I was wondering where this sock went. Why do you have white socks? I thought the dryer ate it. I would unfold this to see what it is, but it's probably better off in the trash. Oh, God. This thing probably has mold no one's ever even heard of. I do like how the cursor moves. It's got a certain jam and jive to it. Ah, my lucky pick. I better remember this for the audition. I have no idea what this is. Oh, old logo sketches. Is it just me or does Fang sound a bit more childish in this? I don't know, something about the, the way the voice is done feels a bit younger than normally. Maybe it's just... Mm. Like, that, that'd be a cute detail, right? Like, here's something you can do that you can't normally do, is you can have it so that Fang's internal monologue is reflective of how Fang wants to sound. Like, Fang in their head sounds differently than Fang outside. And you can do that with the voice actor. And it's cute and fun. And it's interesting. And it would do something. And, like, Fang thinks a little different. Like, Fang outward is this cool guy, you know, a little reserved and everything, but internally there's this rich world that comes to the forefront. Just like with Anon. He's trying not to get noticed, but you go inside of his head, and suddenly he's thinking about how to tell a bunch of people from Afghanistan how to break their, their clay bricks. <laughs> he's going to yell at them and, and make them and collect those U's. Someone told me what that means. I feel so exciting. Yes! It gets a cute moment. It works. It's fantastic. I love it. You did it. What, what are the numbers looking like? I, haven't, I, can't, I can barely see my studio. Oh, there's only three people. People aren't as excited today. Or maybe it's because it's not Friday, Friday. Everybody comes home Friday. Oh, well. Ah, we get a song out of nowhere. No, I gotta... I gotta, I gotta change the recording at that point. By the way, if I don't get any copyright claims on this, but I do get one on, on Snoop Game, I'll be very upset for reasons that I cannot fully elaborate.
Okay, I got three things to say, and they're not good. One, yes, this should have had subtitles for a game that is otherwise completely subtitled. Isn't it kind of weird that the music segment doesn't have subtitles? Number two, did you enjoy the visuals in the background that slowly tell about how Fang is insecure about Trish and, and Rosa hanging out? I didn't because I was busy playing a fucking video game segment. I'm angry about that because that's legitimate as shit. Three. For a game that has subtitles and is considerate of accessibility features, very weird to put so much emphasis on a rhythm and music-based game that deaf people or people without rhythm can't fully appreciate. Uh. Anyway, music was nice, very good song, had a fun time, but fuck if that wasn't a conflict of interest that just could not be easily resolved. I missed story elements because of this. And I don't... The lyrics, by the way, are on the wiki. If you want to look for the song, don't worry. The wiki has all of the songs on it. Blah. So let's look it up. Let's check it out. Because I think the song is actually thematically appropriate. And I fucking hate this. Uh, soundtrack, right? Uh, we'll go to the soundtrack. I want to look at the songs. Give me the songs. I think it's Constellations. Because they talked about satellites. Where's the re 12 o'clock? Reunion. No, there we go. I, I really want to put some musical analysis on the wiki, but I don't think that's appropriate. Was it worth it all? Backseat baby, but the wind whipped high when we said goodbye. Got my eyes of high bay pulling tide. To you in my satellite. I thought we didn't do love songs. We know better, baby, than to be on our own. This song is thematically appropriate for, like, what Fang is going through, isn't it? I just... Like, it's not an easy fix, but it's a problem nonetheless. I just... I'm just angry <laughs> about the mismanagement of it. Huh. <sighs> Like, I feel better if someone in the chat has something to say about this, but I do feel like this. Like, the the musical segments have these these fun bits to it. I, I do think that, like, if you're doing music stuff, you want to be more metaphorical. Like, show what Fang feels like playing the song. But they're doing something else, which is fine. Like, look, here's, here's some character stuff that's happening. I'm busy playing the fucking video game. I can't pay attention to this stuff. And it's annoying. And it makes me angry. I'm very grumpy about this. Very upset. I don't like it. I'm just a little grumpy, right? I'm just a little upset. Let's go on. Yeah, we did it. Video games. Like, that's cute. Why is there no clapping? Perfect place to put a little clapping sound effect. Just saying. No achievements? No achievements. I'm that was sad. local favorite Swamp Babies I just of their up. newest LP, Rabies Babies. Pretty messed up title, but okay. By the way, if your band is called Swamp Babies, don't name your song Rabies Babies. Don't include your own... It's just weird. Speaking of the Bay's babyest trio, you'll babyest. be able to catch them, Bay babyest. them at this year's Battle of the Bands. Hit up Lava Java's website for all the details. And as always, we'll be there scouting out the songs we'll play for you all year. Don't miss it. Ugh, Swamp Babies. Why did you have it on? Fang, it's your radio. Why did you have it on at all then? Crest narrowings cost how much? Oh, he has a big crest. If you had an avatar, I would know what the frick he was on about. I don't get it. Unlike you, they found themselves. Here's one thing I want to... We'll get to this in a minute, but it's important, and I think it's a point where they dropped another stitch by being a little too convenient. Pump them up. Ass kickers! Who's ready to kick ass? Yeah! Woo! I'm into it. Where? Oh, Reed, you clever bastard. Oh, he's so clever. Ooh, Reed is in our inner circle. This is starting worm drama. I mentioned this before, and uh, I kind of really like Prefang. Look at that. They're so cute. I didn't have to go by they already at this point. 
Can't tell you that. But I really like the hair. They look like octal. No! No, that is an octoling hairdo! Fang, do you like Splatoon? Do you want to be a kid or a squid or a kid or a squid or a kid or a squid or are you to octos? I know they're different, but I haven't played the games enough to really know that. Sorry. Whoops. You're a kid now or a squid now. Everyone knows that avatar. Oh, God, that's so old at this point. Oh. Oh, my herniated discs are acting up. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. What? Ugh. Look at this. Also, Fang is uh, slightly more interesting. Look at this. I would like to point out one, Fang looks a lot more feminine. I kind of like that. Looks kind of cute. Got something going on. I'm not saying that Fang should be feminine. Not saying that. But I do think that this works a bit better visually than the black outfit does. Look at the look at the red eyebrows, though. Like, again, I think that the, it makes me think that, that Fang is like albino. Because, you know, red hair. Or albino is why I don't even know anymore. I don't know they have the red eyes. Ginger? Makes sense, though. But I want to point this out. Look at how much like a guy Trish looks. Trish got raw boy energy all over her. I like it. It's a it's a fun little thing. The extra hair really does make Trish have this this boy's charm, and I like it. And I like how Fang looks. It's it's so much nicer. Also, we don't get their chunky asses because they try to sit down. So I never say pair that. Uh, why? I found it in my locker of all places. Isn't it kind of cute? Sure. I wonder what it's like to be a worm. Uh, maybe it's not. It's no misery, no unrequited love. Just worm stuff. I like Tombo Trish though, because she's gonna kick my ass because I jeered at them at the at the at the performance. Look at this. This is so much better than the game. It's got so much more directorial things going into it. Hey, you don't know that. My little mud bud here, maybe it looks like a real heartbreaker. Do they even have hearts? Uh, they have five. They have aortic arches. Five of them. So technically they have more, can have more broken hearts than us. That's a lot of worm drama. We should start a band. Like I said, the band just starts out of nowhere and then and Fang hijacks it. I don't think this background is used for anything else. But it's a nice background. Nice scene. I like it. I like how they look. Look at them. Look cuties. <laughs> Why are you back there, Reed? Meet up after school. One last practice. Don't forget, photo day. Listen, it was cute when they did it in, in Snoot Game. I'm gonna say it's cute in this one. Fine. But why would Fan care? And I, I, it would work a bit better if... If we kind of implied that Fang has a little thing for, for Naomi or something, I don't know. Like the crush it for a sec kind of stuff going, I don't know. You can do a little more with it to imply things. It's weird to just have Naomi remind us instead of Fang just going, oh yeah, photo day. Okay, in three seconds, in a couple of seconds, we're going to get something. And I have a problem with it because it's a missed opportunity and it doesn't work because it's a little too convenient and we already got too many conveniences going on. <laughs> Buck was outside before, by the way. No! No! No, 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 no. I thought nail polish was denser than that and shouldn't just, like, smear around like a superfluid, but hey. Okay, m what my problem is, is fairly simple, it's fairly straightforward. I don't like that a bug did it. <laughs> How do I explain this? Um, why isn't it Nasser? Why isn't Nasser suddenly walking and barging in? And Fang is now angry at Nasser about this and blames him or something like that. Why doesn't Fang's phone suddenly go off? Or it's LJ. Wouldn't that be a fun little irony? Like LJ calls like, hey, by the way, I uh, hope you've been practicing something fresh. Just a reminder. And Fang is like, oh no, oh no, you know, create that extra friction. Like not only is LJ ruining Fang's life in this way, but now LJ's also... <laughs> Why is it a random ass fucking bug? Why? It just feels a little too out of nowhere. Also, this is a thing that shows up for like five minutes and gets resolved pretty fast afterwards. It's just a setup. But still! Hell, you could even have Naomi make the call or something. Like, hey, um, it, where's Nasser? He should have called me by now. Can you go wake him up? 
And Naomi calls, and that's how we get Naomi back in the head. And it's just so much you can do with this, and it's just nothing. It's a bug. There's so many ways you can use this. Like having Fang have some proper conflict with Nasser, on top of the fact that they aren't the same person. There's so much you could have done with this. To make Sir Fang think about certain characters, or have opinions about certain characters. Instead, we get nothing. What if Rosa called? What if Rosa called? Now Fang is a little angrier at Rosa. Or we can have a... <clears throat> Why have random chance do something that someone else can do? It doesn't have to be malicious. Or you can make it malicious if you want to. Or you can make it implicitly malicious, like I said with, with LJ. Like, LJ isn't just harsh. Now LJ has ruined the chances. In a bitter twist of irony, LJ ruined what they wanted to get. <laughs>
as if we are looking at it from Trisha's perspective. More importantly, we already saw it ourselves. We, the player, know what it looks like. So you can do that and be like, oh, it's from Trisha's perspective, and it feels a little bit like the flow of the scene is preserved. The other one you can do is Fang shows it, just holding it out, because we, the player, have already seen it. We don't need the camera to focus on it, and we can just have Trish lean in and go like, oh, that's bad. And it works a bit better, because now we can see her. Why? I, God damn it. They were right, weren't they? I should be a fucking director or a manager. Fuck. I have to talk to people if, I, if I'm that. No. Cute color, though. Your color, though. Thanks. She never wears it, too. Oh, oh, look at the guy in the red overalls. Why are they all so cute? Oh, look at that long skirt. People don't use long skirt designs long enough because they think it's conservative, but long skirts are cute. Oh. Get your picture taken. If there is any day of the week, by the way, to have characters dress up differently, picture is a pretty good option. Although they do do it for prom, but those are stills. Also, note that Trisha's bag is moving. Oh, move once. Ugh. We got two flannel shirt guys. Backer character. The photographer is a perfect backer character. Let's go for something respectable. Little heart. I like this one a lot. How you doing, buddies? I don't want to make it too complicated. It's good for the yearbook. Everyone always goes for the fingers anyway. Because they're going to be edgy. I'm like, hey, make it <sighs> up. You're, You're going to have to look at that like 20 years in the future and be like, oh, I look like such a dork. Up. Oh, no, nah, I'll go later. Got my afternoon glow going. The fact that Trish has the wherewithal that this is a terrible idea is great. Because it is a terrible idea. And this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Bang! What is afternoon blush, though? Is that like a girl thing I should know about? No, wait, that's my... That's... Just the person I need. Can I ask you a huge thanks favor? For, thanks for acting that off-screen without showing up in-screen, making it a little awkward. Reed promised me he wouldn't skip picture day this year, and... <gasps> yeah! I was wondering, like... <laughs> I know about the, the photo day scene, but, like, Reed hosts an l, &L game. Like, if Reed doesn't show up, Naomi will give him an earful about it later. Naomi... You fix electronics in your science club, right? Young Engineers uh, Club. Yes. I, I mean, not like broken phones or anything, but yeah. Nail polish. This morning. Oh, yikes. Interesting that wherewithal to immediately mention cause time. How bad! Is it dead? It's not great, but it's totally fixable. If he'd use the glitter polish, I don't know. But, mm. Naomi should wear a different Can shirt. You, you look really fix wide. It? Uh, totally. <laughs> Probably. I think so. You can fix it. Can I just point out how cute it is that Fang is trying to give a fist bump, but Naomi shakes it? That's so cute. See, that's the part, that's the stuff that cracks me up, that makes me like it. Because it's a cute little detail. So cute. It's also probably because they couldn't get handshakes to work, but it's adorable. It's a good compromise. Like I said, work with your limitations. Have fun. I just... Sorry. Do you think you could find Reed for me? Then I can take a look? I, I know hand-holding is shameful, but that is not like a love-love moment because they have their eyes closed. Maybe have a, little, have a little eye contact going on, and then they start blushing slowly, and then they realize what's going on. I cannot have a blank photo in my yearbook. And then she immediately goes to... Not again. Yes. Yes. Thank you. There we go. Good. Okay, Reed. Where are Why do we have a minimap? <laughs> Why does Fang have a built-in minimap heads-up display? Where are you? Uh, let's, let's go to everywhere except where we need to be. He's on the roof. We know that. Reed? Seen them all over, man. I've literally never they seen them. They start school. Wait, do you even go here? <laughs> I like how Fang says, I've never seen this person before, but you literally saw them like a few days ago, like what, two to three days ago? <laughs> At the auditorium! You prick! Hey, you here to make banners? Weren't we literally like right here? Isn't this where they do the photos? Oh. 
You mean Pinkhead Dude? Super Chill? Yeah. I mean, no. No, I haven't seen him. This and the map feel like a holdover from the dating game days, in a way. Because it's weird, right? But yeah, I, like, know who he is. Go Razor Wings! Woo! Reed? Is he here? Where's the cafeteria? I don't think we ever see the cafeteria in this place. Oh my yeah. god! <gasps> Sorry. Sarah uh, likes Reed. I need to go change. Don't tell him you saw me. Yeah, that's, that's girl number one who wants to mack it out with Reed. Go to the lockers so we can get scammed by Lana. Uh, Reed? I haven't seen him. Backer character. Which is good because I owe him 20 bucks for stuff. Could have been Ophidia. Don't tell him I said that. <gasps> tell him he owes me 20 bucks. Yeah. That's some good characterization. Good stuff. Too bad you're like one scene. Oh, yeah, I saw him. Oh, hey, you guys are friends. I don't suppose you could hook us up. He's got such a vibe. Bad girl. Okay, can I... Five seconds. This is important. This is very important. This is two girls who want to who bang Reed. And one who talked to him and blown his money. That implies these characters have gotten around a lot and we see none of it. Where are all these character interactions taking place? If you're condensing your story this much, then why are you taking off my flaps? In a weird way. Read the Rizzler. I think there's a third one, but I might be mistaken. But yeah, that's two, two ladies who are like, uh, hey, that guy who has a boyfriend who might just be exclusively homosexual, I want to I hang with him. I like him. He can't see me like this. I know the vibe, though. Also, this is, I think, uh, the... the Look, the stairs are on the map. There's fucking stairs on the mini-map. But, yeah, this is uh, probably uh, the same room that uh, Mrs. Roberts has. Misty Roberts. Because, uh, you know, background. Which implies there are, like, what, four to six classrooms? That's really weird. Also, we selected roof and they go to the music room. Very weird. Of course. It's an Best outside up school, above right? an inside. It's really great up here. It's so peaceful. Yeah, like the opposite of school. Just fucking lights one up right away. Dude, what's up? Are you really that nervous about the audition? You know, I'll give I'll give Snoop Game this much. I don't think Reed ever act is like visibly doing drugs at school. And two, uh, apparently sometimes his cigarette would vanish. I don't know if they patched that out or not, but it makes for uh, the implication that he smokes a lot in this game. No. I mean, yes. But since you brought it up, I need you to do something for the audition. You're not gonna like it. Love when favors start that way. What's up? You have to go get your senior picture taken. Nope. Come on. Why not? It's a family tradition. Orson didn't- Look at the glare on that roof. Ow! Do it. My mom didn't do it. Her mom didn't do it. Again, cute that he would have moms instead of, you know, just the same. Again, having an adopted person also gives you that little extra dynamic. You know, a little bit of world building you can do. What's it like to be adopted? How do people respond to that? But that's just me. I don't even know I'm going to do anything with it. So far, it's just that he has two moms. Because it's cute. And they don't have any parents defined by the game. So I can do what I want. I'm just carrying on a long line of being blank spaces in yearbooks. Admirable. Totally makes sense. 100% normal. But what if I told you that if you do the picture, Naomi will fix my mini controller and save our audition, and then we can win and play Caldera Fest and have amazing lives? Naomi. Oh, shit. I think we did talk about this. Ugh, it was her one condition. Oh, uh, yeah. And she doesn't budge. Believe me. I have to think through everything when I'm writing a campaign for her. I can only imagine. By the way, subtle thing, but here's some fun writing for you. It... I mentioned this a lot, but there is a very fun, subtle difference you can do with characterization. Fang going, so you'll do it, implies that Fang is a bit more interested in the band. But if Fang is like, yeah, she is a lot, it's like, oh, you're thinking about Naomi. 
It's a very subtle thing, but the way you respond to something like that, have your characters talk, implies where their minds are and what they're thinking about and what they prioritize. It's a tiny thing, but you can use it to build up that sense of like, ooh, they're interested because they keep responding to that or the band. Like the band is more important. This is a little thing, little ways you can do it. Little ways you can do it. Not saying this is good or bad, just saying this is something you can think about when you're writing for characters. You know, I just wrote in a new storyline for your LNL character. I would like to point out, as a, as a person who runs D&D games myself, it is a low blow, below the belt, right on the testicles, to go to someone and say, you're going to play this character on a game you haven't even played one session of in a system you've never run. Like, I'm sorry, Reed, but you are overstepping the, the realm of reason on what you can get away with as a game master. Or lore master, since it's LNL. Legends and lore. Wait, what do you mean, storyline? I thought I just showed up and rolled dice until something died. No. <laughs> and that, that is the person you're going to trust with a storyline, Reed? You, you clown? You've got a whole character arc now. And you'll have to play through it every session. And now it's spiteful. Okay, so what is Reed? He, at times, is like really cool, he's really chill. He avoids confrontation, but now he's like fucking over Fang, and he's overconfident with what he can get rid of, but he's also very nervous about the asteroid. Which is Reed? Is he confident or not? Is he mean or nice? He's kind of going all over the place. I feel. But I don't know humans very well. My social skills are like, but. Are you holding my MIDI controller hostage? Pretty much. Again, Reed knows that Fan cares a lot about the band. He's already pointed out, like, you know, the band is like how LNL is for me. And he's blackmailing them about this. That is a low blow. Like, I don't know. This feels like there's something going on. And it's, if that's the intention, it's good. If it's the intention, it's good. But I don't know if it is. <laughs> you do want it fixed, right? Oh, that's yes. so mean. He's rubbing it in, too. I'll do it. I was gonna anyway, I think. Just... Yeah, you were going to play, not to a storyline. It's, it's different. Ugh. Please get a picture. Ugh, I should have worn a different tank top. But you're a cartoon character you can't read. That's not how it works for cartoons. Or for Splatoons. Oh my god, I love how his book looks. Uh, they put a little too much effort into the LNL book, by the way. Oh, this? I'm saving the band with... Did they just cut off this as a first? Oh, you. My sacrifice. I am a hero. <laughs> You're the best. Now, because of what I'm writing and the nature of what it is, I can't actually have Fang do this because the media controller isn't a part of the story. There's enough going on already, you don't need the distraction. Also, the character wouldn't know what the fuck to do. Um, so instead, Reed just gets caught. Like, he made a promise and he gets caught on it. <laughs> That's how I do it instead, like, just to have the, the logical extension of the plot line take place. It also means that the relationship with Naomi has to build, be built up differently, but that's fine! Right this way, sir. Go get him. By the way, the photographer is cute. Every character has cute to them. Slugger. Go get him, Slugger. Mm, does my hair look stupid? Stop moving! I love, by the way, that Reed is nervous about getting his picture taken. It's so cute. Oh. I was like that too when I was a little guy. It was adorable. I feel weird. Are you guys hot? It's hot in here, right? <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Love the blur effects they went for. Yes! Oh, that's 100% photo completion. After your pick, of course. Fang is a neurotic, obsessive person. She wouldn't say that. She would say, finally, I have a chance. It just feels a little out of place. Like, she seems like the kind of person who, I guess it's supposed to show that she's already thinks she's already got it. Mm, I don't know. I'm just being wiggly. I'm wiggling. I'm a worm. What drama. Have a seat. I like how Naomi doesn't even ask, like, why do you have your bag with you like that? What's the reason? Thanks again. Thanks, Naomi. Seriously. So, you got this? Yep. I, I mean, I'll try. Meet me after school today. You can't do it, like, now, maybe? We have our last practice after school, and tomorrow is the audition. Oh, wait, it's on a Saturday? Ah, oh, I'm stupid. 
I have to get these proofs to the office and pay the photographer, then Miss Roberts needs me to assist with a freshman demo, and then there's language lab. Okay, yeah. After school. So language lab? I mean, it's implied to be one country, so I imagine they all speak like dinosaur common. So because languages would just be like a for funsies thing, huh? Thanks. I mean, language is already no! a thing, really. <laughs> Trish! Oh no, he's so sad! <laughs> Such a poor little girl. I love when the photographer looks all shocked. But what I love the most about this is, one, Naomi's gonna have to pay for that. Two, why did Trish think that would go well? Like, the bug is gonna be scared by the flat. It's just a terrible idea all around. I love it. <laughs> Look at that face! It's great! Oh. Little animation. <laughs> Woo! Wow. I wasn't sure I was gonna pull that off. Baby! Oh, no, no, She's no, no! Baby! The backdrops! We, we, we can't retake it! Oh my god, what is this stuff? And, and, oh my god. It smells like you want to die. That smell. It's her mask. It's very distinct. What's wrong? You might have noticed that it's, this has actually been like a couple of pretty good scenes so far. But that might also be because I'm not being a little chuckle fuck. Did you not just witness my truly triumphant moment? No. No, sorry. Reed really saved us, and hopefully Naomi will save us. But now we don't get one last practice before tomorrow. Yeah, Trish should probably have to pay for this. That can't be good. Wait, is that all? No biggie. We got this. We've practiced like a million times. I mean, I can use the time on L and L, so. Win win. <laughs> Baby, oh, <no. laughs> I better. Baby. Later, wormies. Mango number one. A. Hey. We are number one. Hey. Oh, hey. Was I supposed to give you a ride or something? I'm actually. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Here to see Naomi. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we can work over here. Why does your MIDI controller smell like chemicals? It's just nail polish. And solder and a chemical solvent. We should probably open a window, actually. Yeah, that sounds like a great way to die. Okay, yeah, I'm out of here. Time to get Thanks cancer. for stinking up the place. Less I imagine it's less stinky than the slime. Stuff like this, seeing how things are put together on the inside. That's creepy. Like an autopsy. Wait. No, it is an autopsy when it's alive. It's a necropsy when it's dead. If I got that right, I'm going to smile and laugh. Oh no, an autopsy is a post-mortem. Then what's a necropsy? Another term for... Oh, they're, they're, they're synonyms. They're, they're, bo they're baby boys. They're, they're buddies. I thought auto, like self, you know, like more alive. But they're the same thing, I guess. That's weird. I'm all confused now. Sorry, my, my chair is being creaky. I'm loving it. Does that mean it's dead? No, no, just... Sorry. This means a lot to you, I know. Is that weird? That probably seems dumb, right? I, I mean, I care too much about everything. I mean, they care a lot about their transitioning and how it's not working out. But there's a lot of things you aren't caring about now, is there? But it's not like I know any other way to be. So, uh... Why music? Um, what do you mean? Like, what got you into it? Ha! <laughs> oh my god, I, I never even really thought about it, you know? It, it always just felt like the right thing. I guess I made up little songs when I was a kid for Nasser and stuff. Our parents were always working a lot, so we kind of had to entertain ourselves. Like, I know I'm supposed to talk about how songs helped me find myself or understand the world or something, but... They don't? No, no, I mean, they do. Especially right now. But it's also that I feel different when I'm playing. My whole body feels lighter. The true using metaphors. Can't believe I said that today. Anyway, you're you're just trying to get me to talk so I don't feel nervous, right? Yes. 
I don't like how YouTube covers up like a little bit. But yeah, it's it's a little interesting that Fang is just suddenly starting to ramble. It would work a bit better. I mean, it can work, right? Like, if you make Fang a little nervous, and that's what they are. They're nervous about this because this is important to them. And they've already shown a little bit of interest in Naomi. It kind of works. It's fine. But I would kind of like it if... I don't know. I feel like somewhere in there, there should just be that moment where they stare at each other for a second. Because they held each other's hands closed. There should just be a cute little moment. Where, they, where, they, where it's like back and forth, and, and you get the sensation of like, ooh... Slowly blushing, slowly get that realization that you like looking at someone. And then that slow back... Of, oh, this is probably that scene. But I also understand... We got a pictogram. Because we're, we're friends now. Naomi really knows her stuff. Naomi is no longer gay because they are dating a non-binary. Sorry to tell you. I don't write the rules, but them's the, the, what the breaks. What you're talking about. It's called the flow, and people feel it from all sorts of things. Exercise, painting, math, even. I feel it when I'm doing things like this, putting things... I got this whenever I start writing, and I just don't stop, and it hurts me to write physically in my arms. And I just keep writing, and I just keep writing... ...together, or back together. It's like you're doing... Or, you know, when I was playing Snoot Game, got really bad in that one. ...exactly what you were meant to do. Yeah, that's it. All fixed. Ugh, Naomi, you're a genius! The cutoff on the audio lines is terrible in this, ew. But, on a positive note, because I don't want to be positive from time to time, I will say, unlike Anon, who keeps bleeding into every background he's ever on, Fang does manage to stay physically present. I owe you, like, a million favors. Well, since you're gonna be in the Battle of the Bands, um, maybe, uh... On the other hand, it's been like a week. I don't know how fast relationships are supposed to go, but they haven't like actually had a personal heart-to-heart -heart conversation in all of this. Other than this. Like a week. Like, come on, it's a little fast, right? Especially since we do a flash forward like months after the battle, the, the audition. VIP ticket? Wow. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. If we get in, I will totally do that for you. Like, if it's if you establish this stuff later, you can have that slow burn like Naomi's been looking and all that. Uh, maybe that's the idea, but it feels weird. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just a timeline issue, because you can't have a di giant time jump like that anyway, because it's just awkward, but... If? Wait, I thought... Uh, so, tomorrow is kind of just an audition to get into the battle, but I've been working really... It takes one month, yes. But I would like to point out that Anon is, like, pressured by his environment. Uh, Anon is, like, in the girls, and it's constantly implied that he gets really nervous around them, so he has that physical attraction already established. He's also... There's also the element of, like, he's been told to be nice, and he's seen Fang suffer, and he's also kind of guilty. There's a lot of things that are subtly pushing Anon to be around Fang, on top of Naomi's pressures and stuff. So, for from Anon's perspective, like, it, it, there's a lot going on there already. And here, there's, like, this meeting... And everything, like, this has been, like, a week. I guess Naomi is around the house a lot, but that clearly hasn't done anything so far. But maybe it has, for, like, from Naomi's perspective, but not from Fang's perspective. And we're playing Fang. We need to get the Fang angle on this. Really hard. Like, again, just have Fang sit there, watching Naomi work, and, like, staring, and getting real close, and, like, oh, I like seeing this person work. And then Naomi's like, what are you doing? Like, just a very simple little setup of, like, Fang is getting interested. It's a little early to do that. Especially since they clearly aren't dating throughout the entire year, which is the big problem, actually. It'd be awkward, anyway. Like, again, the time doesn't work. And, and now this works! I was happy to help. I don't know. I, I'm not a good writer. I'm not smart. And it was nice, you know, to chat. Yeah. Well, I'll just, um... Eat a banana! Potassium! See you at the Battle of the Bands. It helps regulate your sodium intake. She looks so sad. Okay. I have a slight problem with this. When Nasser drove Fang to school, the water was on the other side, implying that they were driving rightward, shall we say. Like, right, uh, like counterclockwise according to the bay. Fang walking this direction implies they're going to school from the visual language that's been used so far. But we were just in a situation where Fang was leaving school. So shouldn't Fang be walking the other direction? 
This is just like a 180 rule that's getting messed up in my brain. Also, why is there no, never anyone on the beach? It's a beautiful beach. Just put some random jackass in there. The audition. I can't believe we missed practice because of the controller. What if that was what would have put us over the edge? I love this shot of- Yeah! <laughs> I love it! Yeah! Oh, it's so good. Should have gone for the video. It was a nice message. You know, you're you're dying, and I, you're probably extremely desperate. So here you go. Fang, aren't you trying to be non-binary? Well, I guess they don't owe anyone androgyny. It's really weird to have this other art style going on, but I love all this little squishy sound. Yeah! Hey! That's what you do with Winnie. When you meet up with Winnie, the little, little plant baby boy, you gotta, gotta give him a little squish to make that little squeaky sound. Hey, everything okay? He's fine. Uh, yeah. But we have a gig tomorrow, kinda, right? Yes. So, we gotta do the thing. Oh my god! I forgot! With the controller, and I had to get Naomi to fix it and everything. I got you. Swiped it from my dad's desk. Hope it wasn't important. They actually bothered to make the card slowly burn up. That's great. With this sacrifice, we decree, decree worm, worm drama. drama. No, no harma. harma. Here, Here we, we spend, spend all, all our, good our good karma. karma. Worms till the end. Worm, worm drama, drama forever. This is why you get the voice actors in the same booth. Because you can tell that Fang is a little late on some of those. Well, It's also a really weird set of lines, but I like it. Yeah, I mean, they could burn their fingertips. I was going to point that out. Like, at how fast that card was burning when she lit it. Like, careful! You're going to light your yard on fire! You dummies! It's very... No, it's actually it's marine weather, so it's probably pretty humid. Oh, we were kind of weird kids, huh? Totally. <laughs> okay. With that, I gotta go. Also, we get a mention of her dad, but nothing else. Like, what? who is her dad? It, could it be an important card? We don't know. Who cares? Parents don't matter. I'm supposed to be home with the kids right now. Thinking about it. There are f five adults, if we include the principals, like a minor character. Major-ish characters, uh, minor side characters and all that, are Mrs. Roberts and LJ, neither of whom are parents. Like, parents are just told to go screw themselves on this one. Oh, but you know we have to do this. Home with the kids, You're baby. The best. Back at ya. I love it. Game's picking up. I think, I, I think we're just gonna... Uh, no, it's a little bit more. Oh, I love this part. Look at this dress. It's so... Oh, come on. It's good. This is adorable. <laughs> a little, little heavy, though, for the weather. They should have done a little bit more with the transition. What does this button do? Oh, dear God. I don't know what this button does. Um, I do think they should have done a little bit more with the transition there, though. A little bit of a fade in between the two. It's a little flat. But nice little scene. Nice little, like, they do this again later. Well done. Like it. Good. Look at the gems. Look at gems on the shelves. Uh, let's look at the phone. Tonight's the night. How are we feeling? We got this. Don't even worry. I just wish you had more time to practice. Can't practice forever. Now's the time to share with the world. He's always right. And now... It's nighttime! What? Still no ETA for mom and dad? Nope. How does this happen? Did you go shopping? I did. I heroically accepted the groceries our parents had delivered from afar. Hey, wish me luck. With audition or those questionable food choices? <laughs> Both. Yeah, they're pretty big geodes. I know a guy who knows his geodes. He can help me out with this. Also, we got some more cute art, but let's... um. Let's uh, take a break. Did you miss picture day? Don't worry. Makeup photo. What? Oh, for the non-seniors. I guess that's that's her thing. What it was? What does my my bear buddy have to say? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, um, this is kind of my intended deadline, and, uh, the crowd's not so big. So, honestly, I'm okay with just calling it here for now and leaving it at that. Not as many people this time, I wonder what happened. Maybe I wasn't f f fucky wucky enough, who knows. I wasn't enough of a goof. You know how it goes. Been trying to find out different ways to read tumblers without being logged in. Man, I got some weird buddies around. Uh, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. What the hell? This is a story of a man named... Oh, what's that? You've transitioned? Oh, congratulations, Stanley. This is a story of a woman named Stanley. You can change her pronouns, but you can pry Stanley's name from our cold, dead hands. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, some nice memes to enjoy. Isn't Stanley canonically the narrator's OC that he likes to tell stories about? Oh my god. What are these people? What are these people? My head also hurts. My headache is coming back, though. Mm. All right, I had a bad sleep, and I had a bad headache, and I DD in the morning, so I've already done a lot of talking. So honestly, I'm glad that my, my temper is, is cooling down a little bit, and I don't want to do another music thing, so let's just call it here for now. Uh, well, I'm glad that I'm doing better and I can actually be uh, okay with these recordings instead of just feeling like I'm the biggest asshole in the room who isn't doing anything properly. I guess it just took a little bit of effort to find my stride, which is fair. Honestly, this is why I sometimes try to avoid... Like, this is sometimes... I end up recording something. There will be more streams like this. But I, I, there are situations where I have gone into a stream or into a recording session, and I just recorded the whole thing, and my mood was terrible, and it basically made the whole thing awful, and I hate those. I hate those. I'm glad that while the stream last night was delightful and lovely, I am in a better mood now, and I can actually do this the way that I wanted to, which is with a little bit of respect, a little bit of feedback, but not a big jerk. What's this? Ooh, someone has a, has a comment on part 24. I'm glad you picked that choice. We're starting to worry we're going to fall short by one or two choices. Oh, yeah. I think we're... How far are we in that one, anyway? Are we locked in yet? Oh, man. Man, the parts... 424 isn't even doing so well. Everyone... I'm so, so sad. I thought this was my chance at the big leagues. At the major... <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. I can't even say it with a straight face. I can look at pornography with a straight face. See... Fang, uh, Reed. Reed has been a bad. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna pull a dark side fill on, on live TV here. Although Angels with uh, Broken Hearts has uploaded a new part, I'm I'm interested to see what the sequels are gonna be, because Angels Scale Wings is getting a squeakquel. I will always call them squeakquels. You cannot stop me. They are squeakquels in my heart and forever. Oh, you just can't stop me. Wait, Angels of Scaly Wings now has the Japanese one in the title? That's weird. That's just weird, man. Get out of here. I don't see the, the Steam thing yet, but whatever. Plush survey. I got a Bryce plush, so that's nice. He was adorable. I wonder what the latest reviews are. Oh, they're still pretty positive. Overwhelmingly positive. 97%. Again, I'm interested in, tr in doing it again. In, in doing like an Adin run, just, just to refresh myself. And oh, no! Fuck! No! I don't want to turn on big picture mode! Steam! Steam, stop it with your big picture mode! Get out of my life! I hate it when I turn that on accidentally. Ah! It's sad now. I'm upset. What are these options? Timestamps? Oh, I can set on timestamps. That would have been a smart idea earlier. Very intelligent, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, hopefully with more people next time. So, thoughts on the game so far? Well, that's a good question. What are my thoughts? How 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 am I? Ugh, oh, my throat. Oh. Oh, sorry, but I'm actually starting to feel it. Ow. Um. The music is nice. The music is probably the high point. Um, it does some things that I say you should do in stories like this. Like, it does a little mix-up every once in a while with the tarot cards and, like, the under-the-bed thing. The moving around the school, kind of. You know, it's, it's trying a little bit. But I think the writing is just weak. 
the writing is weak, and the writing is the center point. I think that the characters, they aren't as good. They don't hit me as hard. I'm not slapped around the cheeks with them, and I don't like that. I'm very dumb. I like I like like a little blunt. I like the little, little hints, little little build up, little escalation. I don't know. It's just something's missing. The wow factor of the character writing is missing. And then they do like the Fang inter inner monologue, and it, it just feels inconsistent. It feels like it's a bit wishy washy all over the place. Like I said, with the whole like Reed promise thing, and that doesn't get brought up, and Reed, and they talked about doing LNL, and that doesn't get brought up again. It feels like a lot of glue is missing, and that's bad. It's not good. It's just not good. It could have been better. The hell is this all about? People think it's nano machines. Nano machines, son. Angels with broken hearts. I love it. Why are they establishing this idea that Rez is this fucking ace master mastermind? I mean, to be fair, he kind of is. He's quite the operative in the game, because he does take out the player character pretty much all the goddamn time. Setting eye. Rez got the raw end of the stick. Um, what, what else? Uh, I think... Oh! Oh! Before we go, I do want to remind you, I, I legitimately hate it legitimately hate it that so much plot was happening while I was busy with a stupid minigame. I hated that. That made me so angry. This is why you do metaphorical stuff. So that, it, just, it just makes me angry. All right. I missed out on cute character details because I had to play a video game. I don't like it. Like, imagine if you were sitting in the, in the little train in Black Mesa, but while you were sitting there, it's like, hey, Gordon, can you, can you solve this crossword? You better solve it before you arrive. And it's like, I want to look outside the window. No, Gordon, solve the crossword. The Owen? The Owen? The oven! Oh, the oven! I, I... I think there are two major issues. There are two broad-stroke issues here. It should have been the oven longer, but I also think they should have had a... Like, again, this has to be developed waterfall-style. They should have written it all out, gotten it all sorted, have a, have a solid script, good, got everything, they, three drafts, minimum. Because you're gonna find stuff. Three drafts minimum. Write it out. Long uh, key keyframes, keynotes. Then they go to the to the first draft. Very rough. Then the third draft. Then the second draft, which is the actual text. And the third draft is the refinement of that. Then maybe one more. You go through it one more time. You have your story bible off to the side with all the details. You have all the characters, all the elements. Then you go to the recording booth and the, on the background stages. Maybe you have some background sound already. Like, you were, know we're going to do it in Fanger's room. We know we're going to be in the school for this one scene. We know we're going to be in Reed's garage. Draw those out early. We'll do the other stuff that we've added later. Then you have all that taken care of. You have the models taken care of. You add some side characters. You do some side detailing. You get those taken care of because those people that are making those things are already done at this point. They've made the main characters and the main cast and everything. That's taken care of. Then you move, have them move on. It's not Waterfall, I know. It's more of a flexible, agile Waterfall. But you, you split up the workload and you make sure that everyone has something to do. And then the last thing you do is add the background characters that don't move for the character artist because at that point, you're not adding anything that moves, not anything that has too much attention drawn to it. The voice actors at that point are recording some extra goofy lines that maybe need a few rewrites or re-recordings. And you got it. It could have been done better. The project management sucks. It could have been better. If it had more time in the oven, and it had that... What, what are you doing, Benny Cam? Get out of here, Benny Cam. If it had that time in the oven, and it had the proper passes, and it knew its weaknesses, and it knew its strengths, it knew the weaknesses of the production method they're using, and they exploited it, and they went with it, it could have been so much more. It could have had a good story with good characters that integrates the core concept, that uses it... It, doesn't, it just get, doesn't get there. I don't want to sit here and constantly say it could have been done better, and I can see that. You want to know what's really fun about Snoop Game? Is that I never felt like that. Sometimes, maybe. But for the most part, for the most part, when I played Snoop Game, I was like, oh, that's so clever. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so cute. I want to feel like that when I'm reading a story. Not, oh, this should have been like this. This should have been like that. You know, you could have done this. It would have been way better. I don't want that. I don't want to read your fucking book to, do, to, to, to check your homework like a teacher. I want to have fun. I don't want to be playing a mini game when there's plot happening in the background. Angry. Banana cat. I'm going to look up the cat banana video. I'm going to link it. You need to look at it. Because that's the vibe right now, buddies. It's just who I am. <laughs> there. 
The cat no banana. <laughs> That's how I am. Turns out this cat is female and is not mother to some kittens. Ah. Oh. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry I sound so angry. I was trying to avoid that too much of this, but I really do feel... Like... Ideas are cheap. Execution is expensive. There's a good idea here, but that doesn't mean nothing if you don't execute on it properly. They could have done so much more. It really does feel like they, 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 they had a point where everything fell apart and they had to do a redraft late in the stage. And it just just hurts. It hurts. It makes me not enjoy I want to sit here and have fun. I don't want to play a video game and go, you know, if we had some coyote time a little longer, it would have been better. You know, maybe you should have made... I don't want to do that. I just want to play the video game and have fun. When I play Doom, I just play the video game. I go, pew, pew, have fun. I play AMC, I'm like, pew, pew, have fun. I pl play a little, uh, play a little, 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 little snoop game, I'm like, mm, characters, mm, mwah, mwah. Love it. Oh, Steam shut down. What is another game that I had some good fun with? Ion Fury. Ion Fury, high difficulty mode. I care a lot. Listen, I didn't write the fanfic stuff. Because I, I read it because I like it. Because I want to do something with it. Because I want to explore it and think about it. And that makes me... And playing this game, the reason I'm anxious is because it, I'm just, all I figure out is that it's not... It's not. It's not that. It really does give credence to the theory that the writer that they had just left and took everything with them. Well, yeah, yeah they, they didn't leave. They got fired because of some scandals, but... It really does lend credence to the idea that they lost a lot. I'm, I'm just, I'm just sad. You know what happens when I play uh, when I play Moonring? I'm just playing Moonring. I'm having fun with Moonring, and I, I want to have fun. I play Night in the Woods, and I'm like, oh yeah, me, yeah, go, you, me. I want that. I want to sit there and go, Fang. Oh no, Fang. Oh Naomi. Ah, oh, Trish. No, Reed. Oh my guy, hug. I want to be like that. I want to be like, oh Nasser, please. I want to go get that. <sighs> The banana. It's a good day to have a good day. Angry. I want to live. I've always said that if I could have some goofy, weird, metaphysical object, I would love something that lets me peer into an alternate universe. I want to see the alternate universe me that's playing the fun, good version of Goodbye Volcano High. I want to see that guy. I want to see that guy who's like, oh man, Snoop game sucked. What a shitty game. Look at this really fun one. Or maybe the universe where they're both good. And the developers are like, we made a great game. And Caveman was like, oh, you made such a good game. How about we shake on it like adults? And everyone's happy. I want to peer into that universe just so I can have that experience because I love trivia and I love seeing good things. Um, I wrote a thing about how I would like it if the asteroid was like metaphysical in the sense that the good ending uh, it's it's an idea it's not a good one <laughs> per se but the idea is that if fang reconciles with their friends and they have the big blowout sale then they get to live they, they they get to die because then it's tragic but they all made friends in the end maybe the golden ending they get to live who fucking cares but the bad ending is they don't reconcile they they let the asteroids split them apart but they do get to live they split up over nothing and it's more tragic that way you get all the bad endings you get all the sad endings yeah. And then the gold adding is you get everything and the metaphysics. But like, you can use the asteroid as, as like that that punctuation mark. Like if it's a bad ending, it's worse. If it's a good ending, it's 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 bittersweet. I don't know. Not the power of friendship. Like Fang doesn't. That's my fanfic. In the fanfic, technically speaking, the power of friendship destroys the asteroid. Literally, actually, in a sense. But um, that is literally the plot of Angels with Scaly Wings. No, I'm saying that the the. The plot the angles with Sk <laughs> No, I'm saying Fang doesn't do anything that changes the asteroid. It's just the dramatic energy of the situation changes it. Because it's more appropriate. It, the asteroid never mattered. The asteroid was never under their control. Et cetera, et cetera, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I'm just I'm sangy. Anon all along was coming like Thanos. Anon, Anon gives you a choice. Break up with Naomi or the world dies. You may... Tr you must choose, Fang. Love or life? He snaps his fingers. <laughs> That's the dumb ending. No! That is that good universe I talked about where Caveman and the others make up. They make a secret ending for both games where they make a crossover. Ah! Oh, see, when you can use peer... No I mean, to be fair, I imagine the device would probably look into like slightly alternate universes with little tweaks because otherwise you can look into like lottery numbers in the future and get really funny about it. Asteroids can't destroy friendships.
put N on can. <laughs> Fang the catalyst. Still thinking about that stupid cat in the banana. It's a good video, though. Heena like the banana. It's a good day to have a good day angry. Got no banana. The only proper way to end this video is to play the Mario, the Mario show, the poop, 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 poop. I don't know. It just feels like the way they should end. Uh. Also, I have something to point out about this. I'm going to probably point it out later in the next one, too. But did you miss picture data? Worry, there are makeup photo sessions. If there are makeup photo sessions, then wouldn't, not, wouldn't Naomi just bring it up at the LNL session and he would go anyway? Like, you can ride around this with ease. And what's a crest narrowing? Does it become sharper or shorter? Mm. I'm a little baby, short and stout. I don't I don't want to think about that crossover. That sounds terrifying. Because we don't live in the good universe. There's going to be favorites being played by the by the creators, and that's not good. I mean, Caveman On did play the game, and they felt it was a negative too, which means it's fun and memorable for reasons that are not intended. Which is sad. I do think the music's good, but like, as I said, this is a fucking novel. If the writing ain't good, what am I doing here? And all I can think about with the writing is how it can be done better. I have like two decades of writing experience. Effectively. Like, yes, I know a thing or two about how to write. Every single time I look at my fanfic, every single fucking time, I'm like, this should be done differently. This doesn't make any sense. I have to tell myself to stop caring about some things, because that's how I want to do it. It's annoying. I don't want to feel that way when I'm playing a video game. I don't want to be reminded of work. I love it, but I can't. Hmm. <sighs> I'm glad the stream actually ended somewhat in a timely fashion. That's very nice. Okay, just close this. Actually, now is that the integrated scroll wheel used for this because now they already got the up down arrow switch. Oh, oh, this is even weirder than I thought it would be. <laughs> this, is an um, this is mouse scrolling. Okay, I got I got some bad news for you, buddies. Who wants to who wants to do that where, where you're like, hey, what? Look at the highlight. Look at the highlight. It makes it bold and it puts a ring around it. Why why is the the highlighting technology different on your? Uh, it's a really small thing, but I'm I'm just I'm a little sassy. I'm a little sass. Will not never be funny that the majority of fan art uses the Snoot Game game designs over. What do you mean with that? Are they are they that different? Mind explaining? Okay, listen, listen. Listen for listen, just listen, just listen. I recently saw someone draw some it was on my front page on Deviant Art, but um like Fang in like a somewhat risque outfit and it was referenced to Snoot Game and considering the Gibbuff Kid Heart it's so weird. I guess, fair enough. Yeah, Stella's obviously different. Um, but the thing I want to, uh, it is kind of weird that Fang goes for such an out there name. Like, again, it does kind of align with the whole, like, mm, mm. again, the production pipeline killed the game as much as the mistakes. I need to stop this, but I can't find a good ending point. How am I supposed to find an endpoint if all I can think about is a cat who doesn't like a banana? Oh, Warlockracy released a video! Oh, goodness! Oh, I love his videos. They're so good. 
Warlockracy, thank you. I needed this. I need a nice long video. I can go in bed. And Linkara released something too. That's also very nice. I'm gonna have a nice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch some nice videos. I'm gonna curl up under my bed sheets and be get a good sleepy. Tomorrow I got some more D and D stuff. Someone said <laughs> on the topic of people joining with D and D games. Someone said they were gonna join. Yeah, yeah. Reed being taller, that's definitely noticeable. Uh, Nasser being more athletic is probably a thing. Rosa being more Latin inspired is also a thing. And Trish having boobies. Babu, she got them booba. I still think that... I, I don't know. I don't know which one I choose. I guess it kind of depends on, like, what are we talking about. Because I think of, like, Volcano High Trish is the easier one to go with. But the other one is, like, the truer friend Trish, you know. Maybe a little selfish, but she'll stick it out for you in the end when it gets real rough. Rough. Like a dog. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe for next time. Consider, consider it your homework. love Dr. Octave. I re Dr. Octave is kind of stealing my heart. Similar to Ophinia. Stealing my heart is like a character I want to put in things. There's something about him that I just love. <laughs> it's kind of antithetical to Ophinia too, in a lot of ways. What is this? Let's talk about, let's talk about Starfield. What's this? What? I'll just throw my reverse engineered code online in the open source. What? Let's play Starfield? What? Someone tried to make Starfield multiplayer, and oh my god, that's hilarious. Ouch. Uh. Okay, I was talking about D&D. &D. Uh, yeah, I got someone who was like, I want to be in the D&D &D group. And I told them, hey, we better make your character before that game starts because we're not doing that in the session because I already did that with the other guy. And we haven't done it yet. And I'm very angry. But I know this person. And I know they would have done this. And I could have stopped them. I could have done better. But I like rubbing it in. And I'm a little sick and tired of the bullshit. I'm a bad person, I know. But to be honest, one day I'll get over myself. But not today. I've got enough on my chest, really. Oh, God. There's also the one short eye video. Oh, no. There's so much to look at. It's going to be so fun. Oh, by the way, yesterday I forgot to actually turn off the stream proper. Also, I forgot to shut off Bandicam proper. A lot of mistakes were made. So that stream was still running when I was already gone. Oh, no. Oh, God, I got to prepare the characters for the... There's so much going on in my life right now. My little feeties are wiggling. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right. Uh, uh, um, how about this? Um, we're going to call it here. Unless anyone has any topics they would like to discuss, I'm going to call it here in like a minute. And uh, we can all go watch the things. We, we, watch the th we can, You can watch some good fucking content instead of this garbage. How about you watch some quality stuff and remind yourself what it looks like? You, you, you clickety clowns. In case you're wondering what I'm doing with uh, Volcano High, I'm uh, labeling them part one, uh, X dash Y, X being the stream, Y being the parts in the eternal stream. So you can skip stream one. I recommend it if you ever decide to go back to this stuff. Ow! It hurts. I think it hurts. But yeah, unless there's anything that's worth discussing at this moment, that you would like, an, like to ask or something, or want to think of, want to have a think about, I'm going to call it quits. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go brush my teethies and, and play some Animal Crossing New Horizons because the fashion game and the, uh, the fashion souls is so strong. I cannot resist. There they are. Okay, since you're here, you have to explain to me. Oh, no, I, actually, I'm probably going to watch the whole thing anyway. You go to Loisons for that, sir? 
Snoop Game Fang is relatable because she's got edge to her and she has like the legitimate, the, the more jadedness to her. Like this Fang is mostly obsessed with music. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's by the way, it's been like a month since I've played Snoot Game. It's been a month. It's been a while. I, the game, that game's old at this point in my brain. And at this rate, we're looking at February before I even start I Wanna Hug That Gator, and that's if everything goes a little smoother than this. We're not even in chapter, episode three. Ugh. So we're looking at, uh, like, spring, maybe, that we talk about mods and stuff. Gonna be a wild ride. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Ba -ba -da -ba. I want Sharkbait to have a little car, a ferret-sized car to drive around in. You know it's good. You know it's good. Hmm. <laughs> yes! Yeah, I, I have a license for that. Don't worry. I went I went to the store and got, I got a fake one printed. Just for me. <laughs> I mean, of all the things that game says, that's the one that I can live with. Anyway. I mean, to be honest... American slurs don't really hit the same for me. It's kind of, I imagine it's how most Americans feel when they learn about the whole spaz thing with Match Koopa. <clears throat> in one of the Mario Party games, he calls, I think, the characters a spaz, and it's it got censored in the English version, like the British version, because it's more of a strong slur there. You know, I don't know who Amber is. I don't know who Amber is. The Amber Amulet? I don't know who Amber is. You know, I, I have the perfect idea how we're gonna what's what we're gonna play when they end this, and I I think you'll agree. There'll be spoilers. Oh, you sneaky little boy. Oh, you sneaky little boy. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm ending it here. Once I know, I know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sapphire, don't, don't roll up your sleeves, Sapphire. Don't, don't dig in the scripts, you moron. I'm gonna dig in the scripts. I'm gonna open the scripts and I'm gonna dig in, baby. I'm gonna rub my hands all over these uncompiled Rempy files. No, I was wrong. My guess was wrong. I mean, thank you for not spoiling it. I don't think it matters too much. I was already spoiled on a bunch of details anyway. Anyway, I'm going to end it. I, I have it here. Um, I hope you're ready. Because this sums up this sums up my feeling. It's, it's sad, but I'm glad that it's getting better, or maybe I'm getting better. Oh, Amber's the baby, isn't it? The baby. The baby. Samus, for fuck's sake, focus on the job. The baby. The baby! And then, then when he jumps into the scene and there's a little bounce, baby. <laughs> he wears a shirt saying that. He should wear a shirt that says that. And he says it too, just for kicks. A baby. Why do you talk like you're 50 years old? Because I'm allowed to. I'm a little plank guy. I don't follow the usual voice restri restrictions. A baby. <laughs> and he scampers off like he's... <laughs> No, Winnie scampers off like Chin Chan does. Winnie runs like Chin Chan. He has to. He's he's got that little scamp scamp energy. Yeah. If you don't know how Chin Chan runs, I saw Chin Chan on the TV. Yeah, the initial drafts are interesting though. They got character to them. Like they're not great. I'm not gonna say that they're the best, but you know they're preliminary drafts. They probably get some refinements and everything. But I do kind of like what they originally were going for. It's original. Fang was roughly described as more frustrated than standoffish. A rough personality that's hard to write. You mean Snoot Game? <laughs> the 
the video game system. Uh, I do like the original one for Fang, though. There's something about it that just works for me. I don't like that dress, but I just don't like those kinds of dresses in the first place. Glad they didn't go for the skeleton thing, although I think that's more like a limitation of not making the art style too complex. And they got one that's got like a, 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 a lot going on. Alright, 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 we need to end this at some point. Internally in the files. <sighs> I heard that if you do everything, you get like a, a little uh, special thing. What was it again? You get like a little thing on the on the main menu, so people will know when we're there. Forty days and forty nights. Ah, oh, that's dumb. Amber would make sense for the baby. Oh my god! I just noticed the pictures in the background for this. It's Dynamo. It's adorable. Anyway, I, I think it's time that we 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 pull we pull the champagne plug on this baby. Oh, this little plank guy as he scampers around the room like Chin Chan, with his legs forward and his, his body backwards, it's defying physics like a true scandalous scamp. Hope you're ready. Here we go.